It's your boy Shy. Shy vs. A Bike Podcast, episode 117. We got a special guest in the building today, man. We got father, we got husband, mm-hmm. we got owner, we got hip hop artist, and Michigan goddamn legend, man. Oh, love, bro. Appreciate bro, that. Bro, spit. What's appreciate good with that. you, bro? I'm good, bro. I can't, can, cannot complain. Man, I appreciate you coming through, man, because a lot of times, man, I reach out to people, man, who got like a name in the city, man. They look at that, that, mm-hmm. that, that, uh, <laughs> that message and just. Like man, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know it'd be like that, man. You know, yeah. I, I, the, the, I take it as like, you know, some some people just don't know, or some people just kind of like they need they need something else. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, to be honest, it was like uh, D Rick yeah. seeing D Rick on here was yeah. like, oh, yeah, if y'all, if y'all, I can cuss, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, man. if y'all fuck with D Rick, yeah. I fuck with y'all. Okay, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, if, sure. so that's how I kind of looked at it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, man. But then, then I be understanding sometimes, you know. Sometimes people platform might be too big for it. They be like, you know what? I'm gonna help you out more than you help me. So you know that's how. That's kind of whack. Come with the game, though. I'll be understanding. Like that's why. I mean, I people do think like that, though. Yeah, for that's sure. to, but to me, that's whack, and that's sometimes that's the problem with with niggas, man. Yeah, no, it is, it is, man, it is. But man, before we get into everything, man, we start every episode with salute me while I'm here. A lot of times we wait for people to pass away, make that long Facebook post, man, mm. instead of telling him or her that you know, what I'm saying how much you care about them and how much you love them and shit. But it can't be the the e- the easy answer, you know. What I'm saying it can't be your lady, your kids, mom, dad. Mm. It gotta be somebody out of that media circle. So you got anybody you want to go ahead and give a shout out to? Uh, I I mean I guess I would say, and this is really just because it's fresh on my mind. Because okay. um I just had a show, I just had a show with them. Mm-hmm. But um I've been I was talking to somebody not too long ago, and they was asking me like. Like where do you get all like your work ethic or what are, you know these ideas or just these these um like the structure of how I do things for sure. and it's 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 two things like for like obviously my mom you yeah. know like but that's the obvious thing mm-hmm. uh but my my cousin my cousin one below okay and uh like he he's the person that that showed me that uh that this like this independent Mm-hmm. level of thinking and uh and and um and creating opportunities sure. was even possible yeah, 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 you know yeah, what i'm yeah. saying so i look back at him and it's, it didn't like i've, I've kind of taken it to different places that from from what i learned from him quote mm-hmm. unquote yeah. but the but the uh the base the basis of it is still there of what mm-hmm. of the things that he instilled in me and he taught me sure. at an age where i was impressionable and, and it could have went a, a different route yeah, yeah, you know yeah. so oh, yeah. he get he get all the props and all the kudos yeah now if, if you hear a granddad upstairs man you know he get down on the telephone so now when you say teach independent man so you always had that independent mindset from the jump like what you always think like is it all about independent or like it take it took time for you to really understand that once you got older no, nah, well, it was literally him. Mm-hmm. Like I, I was a, I was an employee. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I was a, I was my, my life was a college student. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, graduate high school, go to college. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, you graduate college, which I didn't. For sure. Uh, go get a good job, mm-hmm. get a decent house. Yeah, I'm supposed to be. Get yeah, a wife. Yeah, yeah. You have some kids, <laughs> and then <laughs> retire. Yep. Looking back, like damn, I wish I would have. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, in the middle of that, when I was basically realizing that school wasn't for me, college mm-hmm. wasn't for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, my cousin had just got out of jail, okay. and he was rapping like he was like he was rapping before he went in jail. But when he came out, it was more structured, and he had a plan and a goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, he just he just got me thinking like, man, I, I was I was working forty hours a week, mm-hmm. making uh, three hundred. My check was like three hundred some dollars a, a week or whatever. Yes, I know the struggle. Um, <laughs> and then, but he was in my eyes he he was like a rapper or just kind of just out here mm. but he would have a show like not going to work on an everyday basis yeah. but he would have a show on friday and make 600 mm. and he then he would have a show on saturday and get 1500 yeah and then you know go host something and get 300 yeah yeah and I was like, damn, yeah, I yeah. work 40 hours. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> man, you just damn it brought 2,000 this week or something crazy like that. And, and yeah. you're not selling dope. You're not yeah, doing yeah. nothing you're crazy. You're doing it the right way. Yeah. You're doing it the right way. And, uh, and then, but he, he kind of made me see that, like, no, nah, actually, I work more than you. Yeah. You know, and he was like, because when I when you wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning to go to work and yeah. you get off at 3, I woke up at 4 o'clock or yeah. 5 o'clock, yeah. got my day started, sending emails and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You don't, now I don't get paid to do that. Yeah. But if I don't do that, I don't, I don't get, get paid. paid. Yeah. And it's funny you say it because he would just, he had this argument on his show with his homeboys. They said he don't work. 
But he like, nigga, I work. I do so much shit as far as like my personal brand yeah. and my own shit that I gotta work harder to make the money that y'all make. Like you say, within the week. Yeah. And, stuff. and you don't get off. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like uh, it's literally twenty four hours. <laughs> yeah, for sure, man. For sure, yeah. man. Damn. So like, what do you be thinking like as far as people mindset when they be afraid to jump out there on the limb and just be like, you know what, I'm not gonna just do the typical nine to five, like you said, go home to the wife, have kids, and retire. Mm-hmm. But then once you retire. It's like you got a few years left to be real, you yeah, know what I'm saying? To, to live. <laughs> to really live your life. You know, your mm-hmm. kids old and stuff, and you 70, 60 years old, yeah. and you knock on that dough, <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? And most of the time, you've worked, like, like the work that you've put on, and uh, the damage that you put on your body from working, is, yeah. you can't even enjoy like enjoy yeah. those last couple so years. So you think it's just like a, a, a sign that people are kind of afraid to take that chance just because of failure or whatever, or just you got to have it in you just to be able to, you know what I'm saying? I... Uh, I th- no, I think it could. I think it could be taught because yeah. I don't. Honestly, I don't think it was in me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, pause if, if, uh, <laughs> yeah. if that's it. Sounds like it should be a pause there. Sure. But uh, so I think it can be. I think it can be taught. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But but what can't be taught is the passion, the work ethic, the work ethic yeah. to go get it and and to not give up. Um, I think failure uh, is a disease. Mm. Uh, with the, the the thought of failure is a disease. Mm. Uh, that is, you know, it's it's like a thin line because I know, like it, it, even when I quote unquote fail, I don't look. It, it's not a failure to me. Yeah, yeah it's because just it's something a, you gotta it, fix up next yeah, time. Yeah, it's just a learning experience, yeah. or it's just a it's just a process of getting to whatever I'm trying to get to. For sure. Um, so I, you know, I don't like to put stuff on people, man. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. But I, it's just kind of yeah. one of those things. I think with me, man, it was failure. Like it's just like, or just seeing people. You know what I'm saying? Striving and, and, and get good at what they was doing and me just sitting back chilling. And I had yeah. all these things in my mind like I want to coach basketball. I want to do a podcast. I want to do music. But I'm sitting back like, oh, what if I mess up? What if they, you know what I'm saying, yeah. rocking with it? Yeah. And then I'm like, fuck it. I'm just going to do it. Like I've been coaching for years. I've been doing this for two years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I was dope at music too much because niggas. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I stick to this shit. <laughs> nah, I mean, you got to see what you're good at. You for know sure, what I'm saying? Sure. I thought, you know, I, I feel like I was okay at music, but I'm better at doing this. You know what I'm saying? Podcast thing a little That's bit. That's real. Yeah. yeah. And I, I mean, I just look, I always, when I talk to people about that, man, I I, I explain it like, uh, and this is like, I think it's across the board, right? Mm-hmm. Now, some people's uh, goals or the things that they want to do are, I don't want to say unattainable because I don't think anything is unattainable, but yeah. it's 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 a tougher, it's a tougher leap. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, uh, but it's just like, I explain it as being like, have a blindfold on somebody put a blindfold on you mm-hmm. and walk you to what they tell you is a ledge yeah, 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 right yeah, yeah. and then they tell you to jump yeah and then you like man i ain't, I ain't yeah. jumping off of that <laughs> shit like yeah. you, you lost your mind <laughs> and then but the people that have the courage to jump mm-hmm. realize it's not a jump it's a it's a it's like a like a stumble yeah, or like yeah, a yeah. like just a little hop off the curb yeah, 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 right sure. and then when you in that moment you feel like you're falling to your death. Yeah, yeah. But once you catch your bearings, yep. you realize like, damn, I just gotta, yeah, I just it? gotta learn how to walk yeah, through this shit. Yep, yep. And it's not a, it's not a plunge to your death. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, yeah. no, that's a good way to explain. It. Yeah, man. But shoot, man, before we uh, get to everything else, man, like, how your year been so far, man? 2022. I know it's been a while, two years with COVID and everything going on. But yeah. how this year been for you, man? Man, my year has been incredible, man. Like mm-hmm. unbelievable. Uh, blessed beyond measure. Mm. I have no complaints, man. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I'm not looking over my shoulder. Oh yeah, that's always good. To to, <laughs> to nobody in the street or yeah. the IRS. Yeah, that's 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 the, the government. The IRS is a little bit scary uh, in the streets too. So, right. <laughs> some of the uh, so, some of the, the things that are happening in my world and mm. in my life and to the and the people around me mm. are are like. Uh, uh, years beyond what I could have ever imagined. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, like I said, blessed man. You know, making the most money I've ever made. Yeah, that's uh, always good it's, too, man. Having <laughs> the best relationships I've ever, I've you know, oh, yeah. o- overall I've ever had. Well, so I'm good. Do you, do you ever feel like relationships is relationships is more important than money? Com- completely. The right relationships gonna get you more money. For sure. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I always tell my brother, man. Like you gotta make sure you keep those outlets and those connections with people. Don't fall off and jump because you never know. When you might need that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the relationship. The most important thing in business is relationship. Oh yeah, for sure. And 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 that's all levels of business. And another thing I always, I tell people a lot is like you're ba- you're a basketball coach, right? Yeah. So, uh, like think about when you played basketball, though, right? Yeah. And and you were like, or or just even like seeing like your nephew or a little brother. I don't know if you got anything yeah, like yeah. that. And uh, and you kind of sitting back and you're like, man, what? Like, 
I'm watching this game, mm -hmm. and this kid is better than this kid. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. You see that a lot. Yeah. But this kid is on the bench. Yeah. And this kid is is playing. Mm -hmm. And then it's like. You re then you realize the relationship of like yeah his father donated a million dollars to yep. the school so he yep. that's the relate now whatever that means yeah 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 that's what it is yep. or yep. his 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 uh, mom is screwing the coach yeah and that happened a lot and that did happen <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> yeah. and, but it, but it, but it's still a, a relationship, relationship. Yep. so you know yep. you just apply that to like just life man you know yep. some people have uh some people are assholes man yeah. and 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 they you know but what they're doing in the moment mm -hmm. is so amazing that you gotta fuck with them yeah but yeah. then when that when that falls off yeah that 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 you know them being an asshole is kind of yeah. what keeps like kind of fucks them up in the future yeah, yeah, when yeah. if they if they had these relationships somebody will pull you up with them like yo yep, yep. just because you did something you know cool, you know good or whatever Back then, yeah, for sure, for sure. Like I said, man, your your first impression is always important too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You can always remember that, like, dog. You know, see, even though you're a cool dude, that first time I met you, man, you was on some bullshit. Like, yeah. you know, what I'm saying I can't fuck with you for real. For real. Yeah. <laughs> now we said we talked about this year, man. Was there anything last year that you felt that you needed to leave behind or need to change up within yourself that might be holding you back from making the most money you made? Like you said this year. Uh, I would say the only thing I left last year was doing things for other people. Mm -hmm. Uh, especially with my uh, my talents. Yeah. Like I DJ I've, since I've gotten older, I've been DJing more than I've been rapping. Mm -hmm. And I I have been doing uh, I have been DJing these parties and these events that I that I didn't particularly want to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate I hate playing the same twenty thirty songs over <laughs> yeah, and over sure. like night after night after night. Yeah, yeah but you got and, to. And uh, but the money is better because yeah. more people want to hear that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I was doing that, but I was miserable mm -hmm. uh, in 2020, 2021, because 2020 was dead, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but definitely 2021, and uh, and I, I was like, so I told my man Ron Dance, who mm -hmm. I do a lot of my parties with, mm -hmm. uh, I was like, yo, I'm not doing anything that I don't want to do. Yeah. So sure. if that means me starting my event and only two people being there, and I try to it's build so it, dead. that's just what it is. Yeah. And it's not about like I don't care if you have a thousand dollars for me to DJ for an hour. Yeah. But and you want and you, me to play because then become work. Yeah, it's a job. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, and you want me to play Lil Durk all night. I just, I just don't. <laughs> yeah. like, I don't even know what Lil Durk song to play. Yeah, yeah, not, not saying I don't. I don't know if Durk is good or bad. Yeah, I just yeah, don't. Yeah. I don't that's listen to it. Yeah, 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 music. So okay. my thing is, I'm gonna. I, I want to play. If I want to play house music tonight, mm -hmm. I'm playing house music. Yeah. And now, if you if you come through and you enjoy that, cool. If you don't, there's yeah, a cool. door. Yeah, for sure. So, for sure. And that's, yeah, and that's what my music, like even rapping too. Yeah, like I rap, you, I rap when I want to rap. Yeah, you I, rap how you want to. How you're trying I want to cater to the masses and what Not the sound all. is right now. Yeah. And that, like I said, once you do that, that's when it's something that you love become a job. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I can attest to that with the whole coaching thing. When you, you know, sometimes with the people around you, parents and stuff like that, they started making it harder for no reason. Yeah. And you don't want to really fuck with it no more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's and a I'm, job. And I'm free, man. I feel free. And I feel uh, the um, I'm the happiest and the and the most at peace that I've ever oh, yeah. been. It's like creating. Good. Hell yeah, hell yeah. And, and that, that just opens so much. And early. it's like you can create more probably now that you got that that freedom and that peace. You, you know what I'm saying within yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Now I talk about you growing up, man. I know you from uh, from Pontiac, but just talk about the household. You know what I'm saying? How it was siblings and stuff like that, man. Uh, I had, I grew up in Pontiac. Um, I I just it's funny. I I was I went to therapy. I started doing therapy and uh. In uh, 2020, late 2020, early 2021. Okay. And I, in therapy, I realized that I was I was poor growing up. Yeah. I didn't know I didn't yeah. notice it at the time. Yeah. Like I didn't know it. Till I was I'm 43. Yeah. yeah you know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, but I was talking to her, and I was like, Yeah. My, so I grew up in a house. It was my grandmother, my grandfather. Mm -hmm. I was like my my cousins, my well my my uncle and, and his wife and my cousins moved. From Germany because he was in the service. Okay. It was five of them. Yeah. My my uh my mom's youngest brother was still in high school. Yeah. Uh, my aunt <laughs> was in the, my aunt was in the basement. Yeah. Had two had two kids, three kids. She was like you know eighteen or something like that. Yeah. Then my other cousin. Dang. Uh, my other my other my auntie had at the time had two kids and they were living there. Yeah. And I was just like, yeah, that's a lot of people <laughs> yeah. in one house, dog. Yeah, that's and, then, and, then, and then, like, uh, I was listening to something, man, like, like Wu-Tang or something, man. He was like, 
I think Ghostface said something about, uh, <laughs> you know, cereal, white box, black letters. I'm like, yeah, that's the cereal I ate. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, they talk about, uh, uh, you know, thick grilled cheese sandwiches and bologna yeah, oh, sandwiches. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. bro, that, I was <laughs> like, oh, well, shit, I was poor too. <laughs> Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that was that. And then yeah. and then my mom was, uh, at the time, my mom was in uh, nursing school. Okay. And then she, uh, so then we, we got out of that and we moved in with my aunt. Yeah. Um. And and we kind of lived with my aunt for some years, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. you know she got her bearings <laughs> up because she was a nurse, and then uh, and then I just like I just grew up in a in a nice. At that point, I was in ele uh, late elementary, early junior high, mm -hmm. and I lived on the west side of Pontiac and kind of grew up in there, and it was yeah. like the. Um, you know, uh, it's like it's like it's Indian Village, yeah, so just like Indian okay, Village okay, of Detroit, okay. it's yeah, the same yeah. like those big crazy yeah, houses. Yeah, big old houses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but you got to go across the street and you know, mm -hmm. yep. fuck with Juju yeah, -ju and them. For sure, you know what for, sure, for and, sure. Like shit like that. So I went to school with the niggas from the projects and all that yeah, crazy yeah. shit. And um, but they all showed me love. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I never really was a person that. Did, did people wrong? Did people dirty? Had for no sure. kind of beef. Yeah, never yeah. got picked on and no shit yeah. like that. Now when you say that, man, like. I always talk about that too. You don't know you poor till you get older. When you think about the stuff like you said, those thick ass sandwiches. Yeah. I'm thinking about like my mom used to make the little sugar toast, man, up in the oven. All you that sugar and listen to that, dog. <laughs> Bread, butter, butter, sugar, and cinnamon. If you had it, yeah. it's crazy. For sure, that's for crazy, sure. bro. But you thinking that's a good time on Saturday night, man? That's I'm a good watching time wrestling on a Tuesday morning, yeah. bro. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm watching wrestling, man. Yeah. And then we got the sugar toast and junk, man. Like, for real. Yeah. And, like, I was telling my wife. That's this, crazy. Yeah. I was telling my wife this the other day. Like, I think back then, like, pizza and stuff like that, tacos was a luxury meal. For sure. Like, like dog, pizza, like, for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? That was, like, once every two months or something like yeah, that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And my daughter is talking about they got they got the taste <laughs> for uh, <Crab> sushi. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And crab legs and stuff like that. I'm like, for come sure. on, man. For sure. But you don't, re yeah, you don't realize that. But then that kind of, like, a sign of, a, of greatness within your parents and stuff for just... You know what I'm saying? But not letting you see it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not, and like, not letting you feel it. And make you feel good. And yeah. everybody didn't have that, have that luxury yeah. because some people really were like, like, I got some of my boys like, man, they're, to this day, they have a mental, uh, uh, like, roadblock mm -hmm. because they were, they, they realized at an early age that they were so poor. Yeah, they never yeah. want to go back to that. Yeah, they won't allow themselves to. Yeah, I remember taking uh, baths because the hot warning went off, man. And mm -hmm. my little brother getting there first because he ain't as dirty as I am. It's crazy. So I come in right after him. Yeah. Like, <laughs> That's wild. You got to say that word. Like, dog, I don't use all the hot <laughs> words. Like, you got to stir that boy around with the coldness, man. That's Damn. wild. That's some, that was on, was on good times, though, man. For real, for real. Yeah. yeah. Now, um, you said you was going to therapy. That's when you realized that, like, what made you seek out therapy? Like, was that something you didn't believe in at an early age and you started, like, just questioning stuff to make you have to, you know what I'm saying, or want to go see a therapist? Yeah. Uh, I, I wasn't, uh, I, years ago, I wasn't into it. Mm -hmm. You know, I would have I would have told you that I got it together and I'm straight. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I started just, it might've been the pandemic, yeah. just kind of being around, uh, you know, being at home, thinking a lot more. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then, and then now, uh, mental health is a thing. It oh, yeah. wasn't a thing. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. what I'm saying? It was like, oh no, it's just the crazy dude walking Yeah, for street. sure. Yep. Yep. Yeah. He but needs you don't know to why. talk to somebody. Yeah, you don't know why he's going through what he's going but through. But for us, it was like, you know, it was just kind of like a, whatever. Um, and then, and then also I want, I want to, but I, I, re, I, re, I realized that like, you know, all black people are traumatized at some level. Mm -hmm. You know yeah, what I mean? They are. They are. Um, and you know, and then I also I, did, I I wanted my I want my children and the people around me to to like it, it needs to be cool. Yeah, yeah. It yeah, needs yeah. to be cool to do it. You, mm -hmm. you know, and you you're not crazy because you just because you need to talk to somebody that yeah. that doesn't that that doesn't know you or mm -hmm. doesn't you know have a bearing in whatever they like a you know. So that was that was really it, and yeah. I was just like, man, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna see how this thing goes. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. and then another thing, my man Ron Dance, who is the is the like, you know, like the 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 dumb jock, yeah, yeah, yeah. like the goofiest nigga mm -hmm. that never is serious. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Right, this yeah, thing, and, it, and the it. person that you that's always like, like he gets sh shit done, right? Mm -hmm. And he always has, and he does what he does. But you know, it's like, man, bro, you supposed to bring the mics, yeah. right? And he's going to forget the yeah, mic for like sure. he's that All guy time, right every time. <laughs> and, and, and uh we so when we started going back to this like going back to the studio during the pandemic mm -hmm. uh we in the studio and he was super on point yeah right yeah, we, 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 we was working on on a one-on-one 
and me me and Marv and even though everybody at the studio was like man why like what's up with you bro <laughs> and he like man I don't know man I just caught this little wave bro and I'm, I'm on, I'm on yeah, my shit right yeah, yeah, yeah. and then he comes in the studio and he was like yo uh man I got this I got this therapy session at 3 mm -hmm. I'll be in there at like 3.30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, nigga, yeah. you go to therapy? Yeah, for sure. yeah, what's and he was like, yeah, how long, yeah. How long you been going to therapy? He was like, since January. I'm yeah. like, nigga, that's what's yeah, different about sure. you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you know? But he's that, that's the guy. He's like, yeah. oh, 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 oh. yeah, I'm just a different nigga. <laughs> so, so I was like, when he, when he said that, I was like, damn, man, that's yeah. crazy. If, if it got you like that, mm -hmm. what could it do for me? Yeah, for sure. And, uh, and his mom, his mom is actually a therapist and mm -hmm. owns a, and owns like a, um, I don't know if it's a, uh, the uh, company clinic or I don't yeah, know yeah, whatever yeah, whatever yeah. it is so I said how did you find your therapist and he was like my mom no like she's in this this uh, world of therapists so yeah. she's like she called one person and yeah. was like my son it happened. And, she, and I was so I called his mom mm -hmm. and she found somebody for me okay have it helped out like have you seen any changes or something completely yourself? completely yeah. it made me it made me uh, it made me look in the mirror uh -huh. for everything right it, it made me say I, I would say like man Man, this nigga shot getting on my nerve, <laughs> right? Or he or, or he did that to me, right? Mm -hmm. Now I look at it like, man, what did I do to to, to, to yeah, even even yeah. if it's nothing? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But what what yeah. what part did I play in it? And that's what I try to do now more. Than, that's my first thought For instead sure. of my second thought. Secondary yeah, cause thought. first thing you use your place and blame. Complete like, nigga. What the fuck? My like, wife, man. My yeah. wife. Oh, uh, my wife did this, man. My, yeah. That's why I feel like that. It's like, bro. Yeah. That, that's and then in therapy, I also realized that I, I just posted this the other day. Um, a, you can't make a person happy. Mm -hmm. That's no. that's impossible. No, and right. I was that was my problem with my with my wife and the issue. Some of the issues that we were having at the mm -hmm. time is that I was trying to make her happy. And in her mind, she was happy, yeah. right? Then I was like, uh, and and then in that, it's like you can you can do things to bring people a moment of joy. Mm -hmm. I could buy her a purse or yeah, for sure. buy her a house that she wanted, yeah, yeah, whatever. Right. But that's still it's in it's it's something in her that's gonna make her happy. Yeah. And once I realized that, I was like, oh well, shit, yeah. uh, all right, you know what I'm saying? So now it's about me, yeah. me making me happy. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Cause if you ain't happy, shoot, the whole household messed up. Yeah, your kids, messed up. your wife, is, and you saving a few dollars in your pocket now. Cause you completely, ain't got <laughs> completely. Yeah. Okay. So I, even even when I realize I I I, I see that on other people. Uh -huh. I let them be in their space, man. Yeah, for sure. I don't. I don't let. I don't allow. I, well, I try not to allow it to affect me. Of course, yeah. I'm still working on. And that's it. one thing I do believe in, man. With everybody, you know, everybody like throw their energy word out there, but it's it is real to affect. If you coming out, if I'm having a good day, you come in in the crib and you just piss. You kind of like, damn, yeah. what's, wrong with, what's wrong with world? Don't like you fucked up the whole little vibe. We was having a good time and yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? And that was one. Of, and see, one of the things of, of, with my wife, uh, she was a, she was a te she was a teacher. Now she's in the real estate, mm -hmm. but um, she was real. She was you know and our, she wanted to be done with teaching because she was teaching in the hood yeah you know you know how the school system's yeah, fucked yeah, up sure, and, then, sure. and just the parents and the kids parents and <laughs> in my mind i was like uh i was trying to do these things because she was like she had to put up this this uh this force field around her mm. to deal with that in that world mm. so then she wasn't really turning it off yeah, when she yeah. got home yeah so yeah, yeah and i'm so i'm trying to do these things and yeah, i'm like nah man you need and i'm like what's gonna make you happy she's yeah. like leaving that place i was like well leave she, it yeah yeah for sure but that and goes job, and that goes back to the independence yeah and now she's figuring it out for herself and a job will tear the crib up man Cause think about your, like, i think my mom probably being mad that he even going to work whoop my ass at this little <laughs> shit <I do. laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, man, said, like, he gotta go to work yeah. <laughs> he was working at cow's man meat dog factory dog cold mm. as hell in the freezer Coming mm. home mad as hell. Then he quit. My mom get mad. So shit, we all just in that boy mad as hell, dog. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> now you you was in the crib with a lot of people, bro. Mm. I usually ask this question: like, we get our musical influences from mom, dad, you know, what I'm saying people around us before we get our own ear for music. Mm -hmm. So who was the people that you were just enjoying or liking, just off the strength of your mom or pops or whoever was in the crib? Uh, uh, you know, it wasn't no like, you know, some people had these crazy ass. Yeah. Like yeah, man, my father was a, a <laughs> temptation. He was like the first temptation before, yeah. <laughs> before they before they blew up. You know what I'm saying? And then he had me listening to like this eclectic. Like it was regular, man. It was yeah. it was uh you know, Anita Baker and, yeah, and sure. Luther Vandross and yeah. like L T D just names I remember. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It wasn't nothing super like yeah, super crazy, super crazy yeah. like that. And then I got into I naturally just got into hip hop mm -hmm. just because I was just it was it 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 like 
when I when I the first time I think it was Crush Groove or something like that. Yeah. I was like, dog, this is cr like yeah. niggas do this shit. Yeah, for sure. Like yeah. every day. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna get into that or get, become make that a part of my life. But yeah, I but I was you, like, but I'm about to jump all in. And yeah. then I I went and bought uh, my first two tapes I I can remember buying was uh was uh LL Cool J I'm Bad okay. and MC Light I think it was Light as a Rock yeah, whatever yeah, Cha Cha yeah. Slot I mean uh, Cha Cha Slot whatever uh, Cha Cha was on <laughs> yeah 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 for and, sure and uh, I think Georgie Georgie Porgy or whatever whatever yeah. the name of the song was so that's, that's the first thing you them the first, first two bought. tapes I bought damn man and, why don't uh, be cool though why don't be whack uh, well, first I, I bought first, <laughs> but how old are you though I'm 35 go what was it first, all right the first thing I bought my own money like Little Romeo no no <laughs> Worse than that, worse than that. Worse than that. I bought. You remember they used to sell singles? Yeah. I bought um Sporty Thieves. That's a good. I was, what? No What's pigeon. A, no pigeon was crazy though. <laughs> Sporty Thieves is un, is an underrated group, Duh. and and for that moment, like, it's, me and Mar talk about them all the time. And then I remember I bought a tape uh, at the Bullet Store by Denby. Uh, it was Usher. Um, the first Usher album. Um, that's real though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Anybody else? But now with like, all right, I asked you this. What well, I was about to say. Give me your first favorite rapper because people clown me. My first favorite rapper was MC Hammer, because and I used to get good pork cards to get like CDs and Hammer was for show. Yeah, that's real though. I, I and because I, I was a, I was a uh, Hammer and Criss Cross. Okay. I was a Hammer like my my older cousins like my cousin I was talking about earlier mm -hmm. uh, Low and uh, my, and then like one of his homies decomposed. They used to clown me because I like I still play Hammer when I DJ. Yeah, nah. yeah, for sure. I get hyped. But they used, to, they used to they used to like laugh at me and shit because I because I fuck with Hammer. I'm like no, nah, Hammer was cold, bro. Yeah, yeah. Um, like for instance, niggas don't realize that um uh uh not Hammer don't uh, uh I think let's get let's get it started. Uh, no, uh. We walked in your party because your DJ was weak. Damn, Gun, was... And I right, uh, turned this mother out. Okay. Oh yeah, turn this. What I, whatever. But yeah. when he was like, um, he was dissing the East Coast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From, yeah, he yeah. Said, from Dougie Fresh to LL yeah, or yeah. DJ Run. So he was that was yeah, a diss yeah, song. Yeah, it was crazy. Sure. Yeah. Uh, but going back to the to, to the question, uh, to answer the question, my first favorite rapper was D from uh, Run DMC. Okay. Okay. Daryl okay. McDaniel was like, oh my, yeah. like Run was dope. Yeah, Run was yeah, the yeah. guy, but even him, not even like him, kind of not being the the for, the forefront, mm -hmm. but he was just the coolest nigga. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, yeah, was yeah. like and it was like. It was him, it was DMC, and then it was Jam Master J. Okay. And you know what I'm saying? And it's like it's crazy because I started off as a DJ. Mm -hmm. I thought I thought DMC was the was the dope was just like the dopest rapper. Yeah. I thought Jam Master J was the coolest motherfucker yeah, just yeah, regardless. Sure. I don't yeah. care. He ain't even gotta do nothing. Yeah, yeah, he just be but he was like J. that's I wanna look like him. Yeah, man. Uh so then then we're like the first the first uh rappers that I I like was like, oh man, this yeah. is it. Yeah, and then I I remember what's name too, um a uh, Will Fresh Prince when he uh Fresh Prince. Yeah, summertime that C D whatever C D summertime was on. But mm. I remember the first time I heard him cuss, I'm like, damn, he cussed like it was yeah. that one song you saw my blinker bitch. Yeah. And the song was about yeah. him get to an accident with That's crazy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, damn yeah. this nigga cuss like damn. Uh, yeah. Now stay to stay on that, man, you know what I'm saying, usually album songs is like a um a movie or a, or or a portion of your life, a chapter. Give me a, a, a album or a song that take you back to a time. Every time you hear it, it take you right back to that time, clear as day. Hmm. Uh, doggy style takes me to a place. Mm -hmm. Reasonable doubt mm -hmm. takes me to a place. Like I could, I could, I, like I, like right now, thinking about not even hearing it, just thinking about reasonable doubt. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm on Bell Isle. <laughs> For sure, we You know, Bell like it's, right. you know, what I'm saying it's like it's, it's like. You know, it ain't super dark yet. It's like the sun is kind of coming there. down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we just whipping. It's just chicks everywhere. You know, like niggas' cars going crazy. Natural asses. You know what I'm saying? It's, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. like all kind of shit. But it's just, but it's a, but it was fun. Yeah, for, yeah. For you know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah. And it was it, so. You know, those. It's really like it's a it's a lot of albums that take yeah. me to a place. Uh, but those are like the first couple that come to my brain. Like rip, yeah. uh, ready to die. Mm -hmm. Uh, both of Biggie albums. Yeah. Because I was older when uh when he when when Life After Death came out. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Um, and that's one of my favorite songs ever, man. Skies is the limit. Skies the limit. Yeah. That's like one of my favorite rap songs ever. That slipping, like those two mm -hmm. songs that I can just you 
Press repeat. Uh, you talking about DMX? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sure. Now, when you say that we had, we was having a debate last night. You know, when you drinking, everybody know everything, man. Once you around family, mm -hmm. we was talking about what album was this or who was trash and stuff. You know what I'm saying? He hate, he hate everybody. It's my uncle, dog. He, he was <laughs> but uh, we was you said Doggy Style, and we said what was a better album? Even though they both basically Snoop albums, Doggy, Doggy style. style or The Chronic? Oh, you said because uh, you know he basically he was writing a lot for The Chronic. You know, who's so, the better? What was the what better, was the better album? album? You got a quarter? <laughs> Just flip it. That's yeah, you flip it, man. Yeah, I think I think that's all relative mm -hmm. to like what you were going through at that time in your life Fact. and what you you know whoever Fact. you're talking to was going through. I yeah. would say, I uh, I would say doggy style mm -hmm. that resonates with me a little bit more than um the chronic than the chronic. Yeah. Chronic was incredible. That's not, not taking yeah, anything yeah, away yeah. from not it. At though. All, not at all. Not but at for all. like a personal. Uh -huh. Is uh is is doggy style? Now uh, you say you know saying you was in, in your DJ bed early and stuff. You knew you wanted to, you know saying mess with hip hop and stuff. I always ask this question, man. What was something that you wanted to be as a young and that you never told nobody? It was kind of embarrassing. That oh you felt that was a kind of embarrassing once you got older looking back. Like with me, I wanted to be a tap dancer. I saw Gregory Hines and mm -hmm. Sammy Davis and Savion Glover. I'm like, dog, I could do that shit. Like get my church shoes, go in the kitchen, and go crazy. A church, a church. Shoe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So what's uh, something that you as a little kid that's kind of funny looking back now that? Like, that you wanted to be, if it was anything. Like, a, I only had one thing I ever wanted to be that was like <laughs> crazy. Mm -hmm. Like crazy, like every like. Th th my answer is like a doctor. Yeah, 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 for sure. The but at one time, this is this was at a young age too. Yeah. Not, like not like like criminal young, but like. Yeah. <laughs> At one point in time, I wanted to be a porn star. <laughs> I really wanted. Was it to. like a certain like so inspired you? Like, well, well, porn, yeah, niggas, yes, porn. Yes, watch it. Like, damn, these niggas is getting off, bro. I I want in. <laughs> these niggas is Duh. fucking. I, this one I, nigga hit all of them yeah, for sure. I was like, man, I wanted. That's what I wanted. To, man, yeah. I used to for sure go. And my dad's shit, man. You know, you got the tapes and you rewind fast forward. Them old school yeah. tapes. And I just remember it was Bush everywhere. Oh, he got yeah. afro, she got afro. Yeah. A pussy got afro. Like, it was yeah. <laughs> in long church socks. Yeah. Like, like red church socks. It's like everybody had white on. Like, it did yeah. no drawers. Like, you just all pants. And they <laughs> get right to it. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It was the time. It was the time, bro. It was the yeah. time. It was short lived, though. I was like, no, nah, I can't do that. Yeah, man. for sure, man. That's funny as hell. Goddamn. That's, that's the first right there, man. That's the first right there. Now, man, with the music, man, you know, you said early on you knew, like, you know, there's something you wanted to do. You don't, you know, you don't know how, but you wanted to be involved with rap. But when did, like... No, I wanted to be involved with hip-hop. Hip-hop, yeah. But I guess I did want to be a rapper, though, but yeah. go ahead. I'm about to say, so when did that come into, into fold? Like, I want to I wanna make music, like, seriously. Because uh, you said you dropped out... College, you know, it was in college. You went to Eastern, right? I went to Eastern. Yep. So, I, so it started... I tried to write a... I, I was I was into music heavy in uh in, in high school and mm -hmm. I like I was the guy like you said you used to buy bootleg tapes and shit. Mm -hmm. I was the guy that I was that guy. So like if if you had uh if you know before you heard a reasonable doubt mm -hmm. I had Jay Z and I was the one passing it around like sure. man you got to hear this yeah. uh for everything. So then I started making uh basically they were basically mixtapes. Mm -hmm. Like at the time I wasn't like the I wasn't DJ Clue, right? Yeah, I was just sure. yeah, yeah, like, bro, yeah. these are my Push favorite together. songs, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I wasn't selling them or nothing. Yeah. And then uh, my my cousin, I mean, my homie went to Ohio. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget this, dog. My cousin, my, my homie went to Ohio. Mm -hmm. He came back with a tape. It had Bone Thugs and Harmony. All right. Uh, whatever the whatever the um the EP was not not like East ninety nine it was yeah, like yeah, it was yeah. early so, so it was before, like yeah yeah maybe even before they was with Easy E yeah okay so if yeah. I'm remembering right yeah and it was a tape and on the flip side of that was Illmatic okay Nas Illmatic and yeah. I was like dog this shit is crazy. this nigga on that shit is good like yeah. uh, them them niggas are that's crazy yeah yeah, yeah. but there, it's a nigga <laughs> on this other side yeah. that I this nigga is the greatest to ever do yeah, it hell yeah. and I tr and I I, I I listened to that and li literally opened up my top drawer I'll never forget this it was a, it was almost like that like a one of them wood old ass wood top I mean drawers yeah I opened up a top drawer pulled a piece of piece of paper out and started writing and was like. Man, this shit's so trash. <laughs> yeah, Never to look back. Yeah, right? Yeah. My cousin, my so as I now I'm in high school, mm. my homies 
my cut my cousin that I was telling you about was mm-hmm. rapping. He was like the coldest nigga around. Yeah. But then he got locked up. Okay. Uh, when I'm probably like tenth mm, grade or something, ninth tenth grade. Mm-hmm. So then my homies that was my age were rapping, and I'm like, man, y'all niggas cold, yeah. whatever. And uh, them niggas start. I was like, I want to do that shit, but I don't, I, don't, I tried to write. I can't. So yeah. my homie, his name Poopy Doo. Okay. He uh, we was just talking about this too, but yeah. he um, he wrote my for all my first raps. Like mm-hmm. we did an album together. He wrote everything. Yeah. Even the stuff I s- said before I s- rapped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you then, intro uh, everything. <laughs> everything, bro. And then I was like, man, I could do this shit. Still still never got to it. Yeah. And then my cousin got out of jail. I get to college. Oh, I'm about to, start, about to go to college. My okay. cousin gets out of jail. Yeah. And he's like, um, man, I'm about to do this thing. I got this group. Boom, mm-hmm. boom, boom. It's going to be this, that, the third. So I'm like, damn, man, I, I, I want to get into this world. Yeah, yeah, and I was yeah. like, but I'm scared. I'm, I'm scared to stand up in front of people yeah, and talk. So, yeah. so I saw a DJ, uh, and I remember this DJ, when, these DJs when I was in high school. And I, it was, they just, they, my mind, when, like, when I realized that they were controlling mm-hmm. these people's emotions, mm-hmm. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, 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 for like, sure. Like, he was like, man... I can make these niggas start fighting right now. Yeah, yeah. For sure. And he played a song or two, and them niggas start yeah. fighting. <laughs> He's like, man, I'm now about to, ch- I'm about to make these niggas chill out. Yep. Then he played some songs, and the niggas was slow dancing. Yeah. It was crazy. And now I'm about to play something for the, for, the, for you to get you a chick real quick. Yeah. yeah. So then at that point, I was like, man, the way I could, I could get past the fear of, st- of, of like public speaking, mm-hmm. was to first just stand in front of people. Okay. And not have to speak. Yeah. And I was DJing. Okay. So I was like, man, all right, y'all do that. I'm about to learn how to DJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I started DJing, and I got halfway decent at it. Mm-hmm. And then when I got like, yo, I'm a, I'm a DJ. I'm doing parties and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I was scratching on those songs. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I was, I, I was my niggas. I'm in college now, and my niggas that I'm living with, we was getting high and drinking and yeah. freestyling. Mm-hmm. And my cousin saw. He walked in one day, and I was, I was like. This in his zone, yeah. And he was like, "This nigga, like, bro, what the fuck is you doing? Like, <laughs> nigga, we do, we're doing tours. Yeah. Why is you rapping you, with these? Yeah. Like, I'm like, bro, they're my friends. Yeah. And he was like, man, come to the studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I wrote a rap in the studio, recorded it, and then we went to Chicago. And that nigga was like, man, memorize your verse mm-hmm. on the drive to Chicago. Yeah. So I'm going over my verse. Yeah, we get yeah. to the show. He like. I'm like, why you want me to remember my, memorize my verse? He was like, because you're going to rap tonight. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm damn. like, no, I ain't. <laughs> and that nigga said, bro, I'm going to do the whole show. And yeah. the last song. You coming in. You, I'm going I'm to spit a verse. And I'm going to turn around and look at you. And you're going to come around and grab the mic. And, and go crazy. crazy. Yeah. And that, I did that. And at that point, I, I came around the crowd and seeing these people. And they, they couldn't believe it. Yeah. And I was like, I never want to DJ again. Yeah, for sure. It changed your whole life. That, and then I, I kind of was like, all right, well, I ain't going to leave y'all hanging. Yeah. But y'all need to find a new DJ. Yeah, for sure. And yeah. I started rapping, and then that's that was Octane and then Ro Spit. Yeah. And then as I get... And I always DJ because it's, it's a skill. Mm-hmm. So I like... it. You know, the thing about rapping is don't nobody want to see a new nigga, a nigga they never heard of on stage with gray hair. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's cool if it's Big Daddy Kane. Like, yeah, yeah. I fell in love with Big Daddy Kane yeah, when he was, yeah, when he was sure. 23. Yeah, for sure. But I don't want to see this nigga that I've never heard before for rap. Sure. I don't care how good he is. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to see a nigga <laughs> with gray hair that I never heard of rap for on sure. stage. So, for sure. so, but the thing is, it doesn't as a DJ and mm-hmm. a produ- as yeah. really a DJ and a producer. It don't matter how old you are, man. You could be ninety five. Yeah, Rick Rubin, like it yeah. does, you could be ninety five years yeah. old, and if I come to a backyard party and you're playing what I want to hear, man, you are the coldest yeah, nigga. Yeah, you you that guy. Yeah, yeah. So. And, and that's our production, bro. I wish I would have gotten to that, like, cause you like you said, that's a man, that's a it's, lifetime. It's never too late, huh? It's never too late. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. But it's like though, when you doing like you said, when you doing music and you. I think I'm gonna pop off. I'm 38. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, it's like, come on, bro. <laughs> the only reason I'm still doing it because you know a couple you people. You got name before it though. You got yeah, name already. Bro. Yeah, but but I, still though. Yeah. Like you guys, D. Rick, man. He be like, man, I need you on this song. I'm like, bro, I don't. <laughs> man, y'all niggas be y'all because y'all rap every day. Yeah, for you know sure. what I'm saying? I'm like, man. But yeah. then I'll get into a zone and be like, oh shit, I got an album. Yeah. Now, man, you uh, your name, you you. You went by Rose Spit then. Like, have you ever had an earlier name that was kind of corny or it was just always... Oh, I had the worst name. Because Rose Spit, that's a, that's a, you know what I'm saying, unique name. Like, it's, it's a cold name. It's hard to find a good name. But what was, yeah. your, what was your bad name, man? Like, what was that terrible name? So, my rap name was Octane. Uh-huh. 
and it's crazy because my homie got a story called Octane. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ty and uh, Bert. Yeah. Uh, so my rap name was Octane, and it was because. Oh, and then my my original DJ name was Friction, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it was spelled like P H R I K S H U N, mm -hmm. right? And it was because if you if you this is the goofiest <laughs> shit. If you if you mix friction yeah. with octane, yeah. you got fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was fire. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? And I was at a time that, like, you know, niggas had names like Method Man yeah, and, for and sure. RZA. Yeah, and, yeah. Like, yeah, I didn't know Nas was his real name. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and then my and then Earl Mac. Yeah. As I, you know, because I got the, I got burned rubber, so I was I. At the time, like you know, Sean, Big Sean, Earl Mac, uh, mm. Say It Ain't Tone, like all those young young guys were just yeah. around the store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this nigga Earl Mac was like, he's like, oh man, what? Why they, why they, Octane weak as hell? <laughs> I was like, damn, all right. And he was like, uh, he was like, yeah, man, like. And then my other nigga Low, uh, Low Sport, was yeah. like, yeah, man, like your name is supposed to be what niggas called you. In the hood, like yeah, what did sure. niggas call you? Yeah. And then I'm like, my name Roland, but yeah. niggas call me Roro -Ro yeah, or Ro. I'm yeah. like, it can't go about Ro. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, and I was all, I was almost about to call call myself Rose. Okay. Which is a little feminine, yeah. if you really think about <laughs> yeah. it. But yeah. Rick, then later on, Rick, Rick Ross, Ross yeah, he, you know what I'm saying? Which is crazy, right? Yeah, and sure. it was literally for the for the drink, right? Yeah. And then, uh, and I was like, well. Uh, remember in Belly? Remember in Belly? Uh, uh, what's the two young niggas? Damn, I that was that was uh, that DMX was kind of playing yeah, them niggas. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Damn, I forgot them niggas' name. I know you talking about though. I forget their name, but the light skinned nigga name was Stan Spit. Okay. And he was from Harlem. And he used to yeah. fuck with Cam and them. Yeah. And and uh, so one of my niggas. Now I don't look like this nigga, yeah. but me and my me and my niggas growing like growing up, we would be like, man, you look like yeah, it's cause you like James Brown, yeah, like yeah, yeah. like somebody you don't look yeah. like. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, you look like James Brown just on some on some joker shit. So one day he like, man, you look like Stan Spit. I'm gonna yeah. start calling and you rap. I'm gonna start calling you Spit. Yeah. So and then niggas called me Ro. So yeah. I just was like, oh, Ro Spit. Yeah. Man, but at the time, so when I was younger, they called me Ro. But as I got older, because I rap, niggas call me Spit. My yeah. niggas call me Spit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how I came up with Ro Spit. That's hard though. I mean, that's the hardest thing is like coming up with a stage name. Like, yeah. That's the first thing you you know what I'm saying. You selling yourself off your name, your, your image, everything. You know what I'm saying? Like Nas is probably one of the hardest rap names. That's his real name. Real name. The you know best rap. The two of the best rappers rap names in the oh, hit. Yeah. Well, actually, no, it's not. The, I'm gonna say Tupac. That's, like, that's Tupac his is the best real name. Nick Speed yeah, is yep. his real name. Yep. Nicholas Speed. Okay. Uh, Elzai has one oh, yeah, of the that's greatest, hard. That's hard. but that's not even his real name. His name is better. Yeah, his name is Jason Powers. Okay, okay. Yeah. Like, that would be that yeah, sounds yeah. like a superhero yeah, yeah. about to change into. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. That's his real name, Jason Powers. Man, that's funny as hell, man. But yeah, that's, yeah. You know, back then when we was trying to come up, everything was young and little. Like I was young mm. shot, dog. Like and then young and, shot. <laughs> yeah, there's and, somebody <laughs> on the west side named Young Shot. Yeah, of every city for sure. You know and then my my uh, my boy, it was Young Reg. Young Red. And together, sure. we was the Young City Boys. The Young City Boys? <laughs> kind of wild. That was, because, uh... Was y'all had watching a lot of porn back then? And, uh... No, because, uh, um, our, my, his name, my name is Rashad. His name is Reggie. So we was going to be Double R. Double we, R? We like, that shit, Rough Riders. We like... And then uh, was we, Rough Riders out by the yep, time? Yep. Oh, sorry, yeah, okay. So MySpace days, you got to put your name on there. So Double R, for some reason, it was tooken. So mm -hmm. we like, damn, we can't do that shit. And that's when we needed a name because we had performance. They're like... The next day and then his sister was like man y'all could be uh young city boys I'm young like, city boys all right bet we yeah. <laughs> we had the uh ycb shirts coming soon we that's never hard. came that's dog. crazy back then i bet that was you said never came never came. coming <laughs> soon never came crazy man, shout out to my dog buzz man rest in peace man oh man he uh he put us in our first real studio like i think 15 mile and mile yeah like you saw a buzz from uh you, saw, you said Buzz? No, Buns. B U N Z. Oh, Buns. Okay. Yeah. So he uh he put us in our real first studio, bro. And then it's like, all right, bet we about to drop this album. Then my nigga Reg went to jail. So damn, it was yeah. over, dog. Yeah, had to do it every time. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure, man. Now with your um, when you started, man, you say you out of college, your, your your cousin got you to come up there and you know say conquer your fear or whatever. When you first out put music out, man, back then was just like, all right, I'm getting a deal. I'm getting a deal like immediately, like it's gonna come. Uh -huh. What you even thinking about a deal? You just wanted to rap. No, nah, with me it was all, it was all independent. Mm -hmm. My my like I said my because my cousin that mm -hmm. that was doing that was he was instilling in my brain or like kind of 
teaching me without not like preaching but like he was doing this and that's what i was watching so and mom and and he wasn't trying to get a deal and he was living Mm -hmm. good so i was like i never i didn't start thinking about a deal until people started talking about about it like man you doing stuff at that level they about to come holler at you Mm -hmm. and a couple people did but it was some bullshit so i was was nothing like it was not even like i probably shouldn't even brought it up Mm -hmm. it was that terrible Yeah, yeah yeah but I never like I. It didn't matter to me because I was like, oh, I never planned on getting a deal or never wanted a deal. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. like one of those guys that, you know, like some people are groomed to be like, oh, we got to go get a deal, yeah, like yeah, yeah. you know, Young Reg. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? No, yeah. You got to like that. You probably was like, I got to get a deal. No, I was. Yeah. Like, I thought when I had my son and my son born '06, I thought that was the easiest way to get a million to make my. Son and my girl at the time, like that's the easiest way to go into debt. Yeah, for actually, sure. no, for sure. So. I'm like, man, I came out with this song and I sent, I sent it to him. He's like, dog, that shit hard. It's called Twenty Fours. Mm-hmm. But I didn't know that my cousin had basically took the whole like uh, Ti. The whole, no, the hook from Kate Deasy. Oh, it was like it that would have like, been a problem. Yeah, because it, it was that one song I got the chop in the back, four feet yeah. from my left. It was all yeah, it was all that. of them straight. I, I went to go buy K. I went to Chattanooga, buy Kate Deasy, stuck in my ways. I'm like this. This shit sound like y'all. <laughs> like crazy. Yeah. I'm like nigga, you stole KD's and shit. Dog. That's wild. We were before that shit. He would have been all on our head, dog. But no, nah, I never, <laughs> I never thought of having a deal, man. Mm-hmm. You know, it would yeah. be cool for sure. I, you know, it would have been a good experience, I yeah. think. Yeah. Now yeah. speaking of deals and like, I, I watch a lot of interviews, man, with with uh, rap artists. Most of the time, is young, and you know they always mention like the greats and stuff like. Eminem and and right now Big Sean and stuff like that. Like, do you feel like when you are a Detroit artist and you make it out, like, is an obligation to help? Like, and sometimes it's like, is is a how can I say it? it's it's weak as hell on most people to say that they owe to to get everybody out the hood. You know what I'm saying? I never yeah. understood that concept that Eminem was supposed to come back and work with everybody because for me looking at but the he, game, he, did though, he helped his boys out. All his boys, basically, him. yeah, him. yeah. All his boys and Big Sean too. But it's like sometimes it's unrealistic for people thinking that you're supposed to get everybody from the hood. Do you feel like it's always like pressure on the next big person to come out the city, wherever they from? Uh yeah, of course, of course, it's pressure. I never really understood the Eminem concept. Like, oh, he why he ain't going back to work with T or this or that? Like, bro, like but T Grizzly, yeah, like I never really understood when people say that and like. Or Big Sean ain't doing enough when I, it, Well, I do. I understand why. Yeah. Because they should. They should, yeah. Like, technically, they should, right? Mm-hmm. But another thing I've, I've, I've kind of realized in therapy mm-hmm. uh, is that when, when you realize that nobody on the planet owes you anything and you don't owe anybody anything, mm-hmm. it'll make your life a lot more peaceful. Yeah, for You sure. know, and, it'll, and it'll, it'll relieve a lot of stress and a lot of pressure. Mm-hmm. And I... And I... And, you know, because... People might say that about Eminem, right? Yeah. Which is kind of crazy to me, to, but okay, say yeah, it. But I know you hear it a lot, man. Like, yeah, I've heard, it, I've yeah. heard it, but, but the thing is, it's like, well, you, we don't know who he really helped, yeah, right? Sure. But I know, I what I do know is that he uh, he did a movie here and paid mm-hmm. niggas way more than they should have been getting paid to stand around for yeah, eight, for eight sure. ten hours. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, and I, I know he did. You know, shit, he did a reality show with me. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. that doesn't mean that he said, here's the next best rapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But he did, you know, yeah. he, he put on D, his friends. And, by saying, and through that, they probably put their people on some type of way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you, you may not know of Marv 1, Super MC. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, locally, of course, but yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if it wasn't for proof, yeah, yeah, for sure. You know what proof I'm saying? I mean, and, yeah. and it's a whole list of yeah. people that proof had, you know, had his mm-hmm. hand on. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yes, yes, the answer is yes and no. Yeah. I don't think they. I, I think it's it's some people could feel a certain way about their city, mm-hmm. right? They could yeah. feel like, oh, y'all weren't y'all wasn't really behind me. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So why should I? What I? What do I owe y'all, nigga? Yeah, yeah, no, you know that's what I'm a saying? fact. And yeah. it's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I, but but when you, if you if you a grown ass man looking for somebody to to you do something for you, bro, you already you already yeah. messed up. Because even if you do it, you know, you just gonna wait for the next man. To yeah, do it. for sure, for so. sure. I, I stick on Detroit rap, man. You know, back in the day, you had. You know what I'm saying? I remember when I first started listening to Detroit rap, it was Rock Bottom, Big Hurt. Mm-hmm. It was KDZ. It was Street Lord Juan. It was uh, Blade. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Why do you, do you feel like, Trick, do you feel like um back then, Detroit artists wasn't getting deals because they were scared of Detroit? 
Because now it's like a lot of artists is getting put on from the city, and it wasn't like, it wasn't always like that. Uh, I don't know. I I don't I don't know if that's if that's a I don't I don't, I don't know if I can answer. That. I don't yeah, know. Sure. I don't yeah, yeah, yeah. I have I don't have enough knowledge of yeah, it to yeah, yeah, yeah. you know maybe Cal- you know. It, it was Cal- it was kind of you know people's fearing for their life to come to Detroit like you know what I'm saying it was kind of like wow yeah, but, back but then. Uh, I know a lot of those guys as far well as, I was, I, as far as I know or what I, what I've heard mm-hmm. is that. Like they all were like on the cusp of getting deals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know I don't know how true it is, but I, I heard a rumor that Ti was looking at KDZ at one point. Man, that may be true. Before he got locked I, up, I heard Jay was trying to sign Blade mm-hmm. or at, at some level or trying to do something for him. I yeah, don't know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, but I don't know how true that is. So. For sure. I don't, I don't know, man. Yeah, because it's a little easier now, man. You see a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, the sound is kind of like getting, you know what I'm saying, global instead of just local. But I, re- but I, what I do, what I do believe, though, is that for a long time, mm-hmm. so in, in, my, in my mind, what originality sells, mm-hmm. right? Origi- originality is going to always rise to the top. For sure. Okay? Yeah. And I think that for a long time, mm-hmm. Michigan, Detroit slash Michigan, didn't have a a, a sound. A sound, yeah, for sure. Right? Facts, facts. No, because a lot of the times those people they were they were sounding, you know, and maybe the sound was originating here, but like for instance, a lot of the times you a lot of people sounded like you know E40 in the click or whatever, like mm-hmm. that sound, mm-hmm. and maybe it started here and E40 and them stole it, and that's yeah. why whatever. But it, it became popular, but mm-hmm. whatever to the outside world, it looks like oh they just sounded like that, yeah. or they sound or it sound like. Uh, the South, yeah, or the East Coast, yeah, for right? Sure. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, Dilla and and like the the whole hip hop thing kind of comes through, mm-hmm. but that's not popular. It's not popular. Like, rap. Yeah, yeah. I you know what I mean? Yeah. But it was, a, it was it was a movement, mm-hmm. and it, and people lived off of that still to this day. For sure, for sure. And uh, and and it and it influenced a, a whole culture of like this is how this and so then when people from the outside were looking in it was like that's the sound of Detroit mm-hmm. and they like nah oh, yeah. that's not really yeah, that, yeah, not yeah. Me, it, it, yes it is yeah, but nah but nah, nah, nah yeah, if you yeah. go if you bust a left <laughs> on on uh, Connor yeah. you know what I'm saying like nah they, yeah. they don't even know who what that is yeah for sure um, so I think though when Blade when when that whole movement came in the mm-hmm. rock bottom and all that mm-hmm. that was the beginning of the sound yeah because sure. I mean all everybody now was just a uh, I don't want to say a baby, but like a um, derivative of that. Yeah. Of yeah. that, of like, it all came from that. Yeah, 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 right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blade and them niggas taught us, you know, whatever, taught the us, like yeah. in general, like, yo, this is this is what it is. This is what we do. For sure. We talk crazy yeah, we, shit. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we stunt. We, do we this, stunt yeah, like yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah. Even if we don't rhyme. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Half the time. But, yeah. it, but what you're not going to do is talk this talk better than me yep, and exactly. maybe it just like okay yeah that's cool well we, we just we just need to wait for babyface ray yeah yeah and sometimes sure. babyface ray comes would come would have came through in 97 yeah or night or 2000 whatever mm-hmm. so, sometimes it's 2022 yeah because sure. yeah, i had an argument with, uh, with a young lady man i was saying like um i i, I believe doughboy cash how kind of started the, that new sound the new, the new but if you listen to them they are they are a derivative of a blade, a blade. Yeah, for sure, fast. fast. Yeah, they baby blades. Hell yeah, hell yeah. And they but they but they put their own. You know, it's not like they're they were copying that. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. probably what they heard growing up. For sure. And 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 they they took that to a level like yeah, blade talk that sh- talk that shit. Yeah. But like now it's whatever year and yeah, we about, about to juice on that. We about yeah. to talk. Hell yeah. Crazy. Shout out to payroll man. He wanted to, wanted pay to is one of the yeah. One of the I go around city. everywhere I go. I've gone on the planet damn near i've had a conversation yeah. with people saying blah 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 saying this and that and and more overseas it's you know they, they like overseas mm-hmm. it's it's slum village dilla yeah, Elza, sure, guilty simpson sure. like it's just like they don't they don't really know who they like oh it's a guy named payroll that's yeah, yeah, yeah. that's insane yeah and drop all the time so like. when they hear it when they hear it you have to have a you have to develop an ear for yeah, it for sure right because sure, it, sure. it, it all the time it don't sound like it's on beat yeah yep, sometimes yep. like i said they don't even rhyme yeah. whatever whatever but i've had arguments of like man listen bro i will put these niggas i will put uh uh uh, uh i'm trying to think of this nigga name um he, he and he's crazy because he, he's like one of my favorites uh Doughboy cash out uh 
In my mind, I'm saying Chaz, but uh, uh Double Boy Keys. Oh, yeah, yeah, Keys. Keys be talking Keys crazy. Keys is crazy. Yeah, Keys talking, is. Yeah. Oh, this they nigga wants uh, somebody rolling ticket. Uh, this nigga rolling ticket, he might blow up. <laughs> like, cr that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> but, like, I, so I, t I the niggas like, man, them niggas, why? I'm like, nah, bro. Yeah. And now, all of those, I've, like, I was fighting the, that fight. Yeah. And now those people are like, oh, I get yeah, it. Yeah, for sure. For I sure. get it. I see Babyface, yeah. right? And I get, I see. He's a star. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Shout them out, man. Payroll, come on, show cut. But uh, <laughs> now, uh, man, get to you, man. Like you just dropped the project. You say you know, saying you be, you you gotta get in that mood because you say D Rick asked for a verse. You like nigga, I don't even be rapping like that. But I hate you, uh, what D Rick called me for. You verse. um, you and Nick Speed, man. Y'all dropped a, a good project, man. Welcome to Coney Island, man. Mm -hmm. Like uh, it was dope. I ain't saying that because you next to me, man. I, I've been listening to it ever since you, that and that pusher. They came out same time. It's yeah, I've been listening to. Appreciate it. But uh, how did it come about? You know, what I'm saying it's still early, but what's has has the response been for it these last couple of days, man? Uh, the response has been really good, man. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's crazy because Nick Speed that next day he was like, man, I've never dropped a project and uh and got that much like you know retweets and reposts and blah 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 yeah. and all this stuff and he was like man it's oh it's a little overwhelming yeah for sure because you you know like he's like yeah i usually i drop some mm. they'll buy 400 copies of it overseas yeah, of, it, yeah. of the vinyl and blah 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 but he's like man all this attention that we're getting from this is like man it's crazy and i'm i'm in i'm in awe right now mm. uh but the album came because of the pandemic mm -hmm. and and uh one of my homies from pontiac named oob was doing these uh like the pandemic hit and I was everybody it's like if you were in jail right yeah, you couldn't leave the crib oh, yeah, hell yeah, hell and uh so everybody on Facebook like crazy and Instagram and my boy was like uh he was he started doing this thing in Pontiac called the Beat 16 challenge mm -hmm. so he got all his rapper friends mm -hmm. and all his producer friends and was like yo we're gonna do these uh I'm gonna link you as a producer that you, you never you don't even like I don't know who you are as a producer right but you might be uh, Mo Dirty or like somebody that people know yeah for sure and it's like alright well real, realistically he may not ever have the chance to meet Mo Dirty mm. so but he dope yeah so I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna link it up send him a beat mm. and you write a 16 mm. and then you know you can record on your phone sure. or whatever yeah so he, they linked me up with this young cat from around Pontiac or something mm. And I was like, damn, this beat kind of crazy. So I, I was like, man, but I feel like I'm in jail, man. Yeah, I don't feel like yeah, writing. Yeah, for sure, yeah. You ain't got so no... I write, I write a verse. It was crazy. And then I'm thinking of like, I'm about to spit this into my phone. So I'm like, bro, how do you, how are these niggas doing that shit? Mm -hmm. So he sent me like a complete music video. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, sure. how is the, I'm like, the world is shut down. How did this nigga shoot a video, bro? And he's like, man, this is what niggas doing. So mm -hmm. I'm like, damn. So I'm like, man, I I, I need a couple days to turn mine in, yeah. right? Because I gotta find a nigga who shot that nigga video. For sure, for sure. So I uh, now I was I, we were shipping because we were getting shipments uh, going out for the for the store. So I would go to the store and do shipments. So mm -hmm. I called my man. I'm like, bro, I know it's crazy out here, yeah. but meet me at the store yeah, yeah, and we just gonna shoot a video. For sure. And then um, did that shit. It was like a you know people voted mm -hmm. whatever who's the best. Um, yeah. So then. Shit went crazy, and I was like, "Yo, okay, now I got, the, I got the bug, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need another one." He was like, "Ah, we don't got enough producers." Yeah. I'm like, "Nigga, yeah. I need." So I hit my, I hit a couple of my producer friends up, up. Nick Speed, one of them, mm. and I said, "Man, listen, I'm about to do my own beat 16s. Fuck the challenge. I'm yeah. just trying to get my shit off." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he sent me some beats, mm. and I'm listening to the beats, and then at the the, the last one was a song, mm. or like a, it was a beat. And I'm like, "Damn, never in my mind, never heard it before." Yeah. And then I'm listening to it, and then the nigga start rapping. I'm like, damn, this, this shit, all right. Why would he send me a beat of a nigga? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, a nigga, yeah, another yeah. nigga song. For sure. And then I was like, I'm like, oh, shit, that's me. Yeah. I'm like, damn. <laughs> so then I'm like, I'm like, I, you know how like you could you could do a, a interview with yeah, somebody, right? Sure. You could do it this interview right now. Yeah. And it might not come out. Yeah. Right. And then and then in seven years. He send you the interview, mm -hmm. like man, we should put this out, yeah. and you like man, oh damn, I do remember that interview. Yeah, 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 for sure. I was like, I don't, I don't remember the beat, yeah. I don't remember the lyrics, yeah, I don't sure. even remember recording <laughs> yeah. it. How did you get this? Yeah. And he was like, man, you recorded this shit like in 2014 or yeah, something. Yeah, for sure, man. And I'm like, it completely left yeah. my brain. Yeah. So that song ended up being still lit. Okay, okay. Right? Yeah, yeah, so, like, hard. literally, I I changed a couple of words mm -hmm. to to bring it up to date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same beat. 
basically the same uh, everything, same hook from from 2014, mm -hmm. and then we threw Boldy on there. Okay, yep, yep. And at, <clears throat> added the uh, the Puff Daddy uh, prayer at the beginning. Yeah, dang. So when he when he said that. He sent that, so we talking. I'm like, damn, bro. I'm like, man, I don't even remember this shit. He was like, yeah, we was we was talking about doing an album. Yeah. Where I was, so I had in 2014. I said, do you remember that doing an album? Talk no, I remember. Oh. I remember talking about okay. when he brought when he brought it up. I was like, oh, I do remember that. Okay. But I don't remember ever recording. So I was gonna do an album. Mm -hmm. Me as a beat, uh, like a you know a, um, a hip hopper slash, you know, break beat rapper. Mm -hmm. And it was gonna be produced by Nick Speed okay. and Hell of a. Okay, okay. And my only features was gonna be like payroll. Okay. Ve Vezel, like niggas that that hell of a fuck with. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. That niggas wouldn't re really think to hear me on a song with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And it never happened. Yeah. And then T Grizzly came out and then yeah, Hell of a. Not, yeah. not saying Hell of a wouldn't do it now, but yeah. now Hell of a it's is a hell, it's, yeah. a, it's a lot different. It's a little different. Uh, <laughs> so then he was like, man, we should just finish this. We should just do finish the album. Mm -hmm. So. If you pay attention, uh, the 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 at the second song on there, Eddie V's freestyle, that's it. All right. was supposed to be one of those beat sixteens that yeah, I was going to do. Kind of tell. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. the last song, "World Gone Crazy," mm -hmm. is only one verse. Yeah, yep. And yep. that's what that was supposed to be. Yeah, so yeah. those were the first two songs that was supposed. To, I was just going to do a video for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then we started going to the studio, and then that song became this. Mm -hmm. He added this, and he was like, "This idea, Maestro did this." And then next thing you know, it's like, bro, we had like nine songs, and it's yeah. starting to sound like an album. Hell yeah, for sure. And then, and then. We was like, so I, another thing I started doing, like I did Rose Gold, I did mm -hmm. 101. Mm -hmm. I'm doing these album, these projects, name something complete. I don't even want Rose Spit in the mix yeah, of that. All, yeah. And on some goofy artist shit, shit <laughs> I want people to look back in 10, 15 years and be like, damn, that Ro, that was Rose doing all yeah, that shit, sure. right? I, like, damn, Rose Gold is Rose, 101 is Rose, mm -hmm. Coney Island is Rose, mm -hmm. whatever the next group I do. And... They they're not gonna put the you know some somebody's not gonna put it together until like oh damn that's crazy yeah, yeah, yeah. um so so he was like when we gonna call it and I was like I, mean, I kind of want to do this thing called Coney Island yeah and he was like shit all right fuck it we Coney Island yeah and then I was like so the projects that me and Nick Speed do mm. every every one is going to be uh, a story about a nigga. Just trying to get to the Coney yeah, at some yeah, point, sure. some yeah. or something happened at the Coney yeah, or whatever, yeah. and that's what it's gonna be. You okay. know what I'm saying? And and the the whole album is like me first introducing to the because uh, somebody hit me up and was like from from New York, like why are you calling it Coney Island? I'm like nigga because uh, yeah, it's a shit. Coney. That's our yeah, shit. That's our shit, nigga. Yeah. But so that's why I had to explain to them yeah. on that song like this, a Coney Island is some you know it's 24 hours you can get yeah. some yep. you get an omelet or a cheeseburger, yeah. bro, sure. at whatever Anytime. time. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and then it gets into the story of like uh, another another thing me and Speed that talked about me and my my man Elite um, that I, that I'm still in, technically still in the group with because we gonna do something too. Yeah. Um, we talked about doing this album way back in the day called uh, we was gonna call it something like a trip down Woodward or a trip down seventy five or whatever. Yeah. And it's because I I'm from Pontiac mm -hmm. and most of the people that I deal with are you know Detroit so like. And like when you leave downtown Detroit, it take you what seven minutes to get to the crib? Yeah, fit ten. You know what ten I'm saying? minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got yeah, you, I, yeah. I got thirty five forty. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Pontiac. I, my my wife was staying Pontiac. I know where to drive from downtown. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so so, but it's a but it's a trip. Yeah, because you sure. go you go from you go from the hood, mm -hmm. and uh and the, and this is all depending on because sometimes you might take Telegraph right, mm -hmm. but you like you go from Pontiac, which is you know it's inner city. Yeah. You got you go Bloomfield, yeah, for sure. Birmingham, yeah, West Bloomfield, West Bloom. Like you, you yeah. pass these, this amazing yeah. thing, then yeah. you hit Eight Mile, nigga. Yeah. It's, it's like, like shit, boom. <laughs> right, back, right back to it, we back, yeah. So I wanted to tell yeah, that yeah, story like, of of like that's dope. That's the stuff that I yeah. saw, but everybody can't. Everybody doesn't have that story, yeah, for sure. That's you know what I'm saying? And when I would go down there to do shows, and my wife, or my girl at the time, or whatever yeah. wife. Would always be complaining about oh we were supposed to go out like now I forgot I had this show in front of thirteen yeah. people yeah. that I gotta go do yeah. but then, so, or I gotta go DJ or something like that so that that's the storyline yeah. of it like yeah. how I maneuvered 
through these yeah. through this thing my whole life. And so you, so that's one one thing you want to do now: work with different artists like you and such as you and such. Yeah, producer. Because I because yeah. I Rose Spirit retired a long time ago. Okay, yeah, yeah a couple yeah, years yeah. ago. Yeah, and I don't ever want to do anything as Rose Spirit again. Okay, for sure. So like the pursuing like Rose Spirit was the the rapper trying to get a deal. For sure, yeah, yeah. You know, and yep. uh, trying so, to get a meal. Yeah, and <laughs> I was like, man, I'm I, I retired, and mm -hmm. you know, niggas like, no, you're not gonna retire. I'm like, okay, <laughs> which I didn't. Yeah, but. Everything like rose, it's rose gold. Okay. So so that means, in, unless you book me and KT, I'm mm -hmm. not doing. I'm not performing those songs. For sure, yeah. Coney Island, if you you yeah, you might try to book Rose Spit. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing. Yeah. I, I, I don't. Rose Spit ain't got no music. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Or it's old as hell. Yeah. So Is you got to book Coney yeah, Island. Yeah. So do you want Rose Gold or, or we could do a Rose Gold Coney Island tour yeah. and I just be on stage yeah, yeah. the whole night. For sure. Hell yeah. 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 Now um going. Listening to it, man, I always do a top five, depending on how long the um project is. I give you my top five, you give me yours. Of that? Of, of, of the uh, Coney Island project. Oh, okay. So my my favorite song on there is Rain. Crazy, thank you. I like Rain. Appreciate uh, it. WGC. Mm -hmm. uh, Welcome to Car Coney Island, of course. Uh, Eddie V's Freestyle. Mm -hmm. And what's that, OC and Ill? I can ill. That's Octane. Octane. Okay, okay. Octane oh, cause I can't. My, my, so my first rap group I was in was called Octane and Elite. Mm -hmm. And we both changed our names. Okay. So... That's a throwback to like that's how like that's what we we just get on get beats and rap. Okay. So it's Ock for Octane I, okay. and Ill for Elite. Okay, yo, so that's my my Ock Ill. So that's my five. What's what's your, what's your five from the uh, project? Uh, it's it would be no no order. No just, order. Um, for me it's it's uh it's 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 Welcome to Coney Island. It's Rain. Mm -hmm. It's uh it's uh. All Star Game. Okay. Uh, which All Star Game is probably my favorite. Mm -hmm. uh, Eight Four Six, mm -hmm. the house record, and uh, probably uh, 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 I don't even know the name of it, but Yakistan. Where, mm -hmm. where I talk about. Oh Pontiac. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was hard too. That was hard. Now I do these things. Man, I take a bar or something from a song, and we just talk about it a little bit. Mm. So uh, this should have been a whole interview. <laughs> So uh, it's just one You say um, It's not like Going to your neighborhood Coney Don't get caught slipping Everybody treat you Everybody there Ain't your homie Yeah That's on Welcome to Coney Island mm -hmm. So uh, What's your Like when you think Of Coney Island Man what you think about Man cause with me I think about After the club You know what I'm saying You might get a chick there mm -hmm. you might, Like you say You might get your ass beat there Like You might get your ass yeah. you, might be, you might see your ex Yeah Or meet your next <laughs> Yeah for sure So yeah. what's your what, what, what's, When you think about Coney Island In the grand scheme of things Like what do you think about When you just think about Coney Island Like I think I think no, and, and the thing is Pontiac May be different Than Detroit When yeah. it comes to Coney Like Coney's You know what I'm saying Not, not all the way But I just think of the, I just think of like neighborhood or mm -hmm. like community. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, like you you probably know uh 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 the, you know the Arab dude, Greek dude What's behind up? the counter name. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Or call you he you calling whatever you call him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The little you know, his daughter or niece that work in there, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? Like uh and it's just like for me, it's a place. Yes, it's that. It's after the club. It's that. That's late night, whatever. But it's also like, man, I just it's two o'clock yeah. or breakfast. Yeah, you know I'm what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. like, meet me at the Coney. We yeah. about to just sit down and chill because you're yeah. not yeah, yeah, unless you're just in the groove of the, of the nightlife. You're not going to chill and sit at the Coney at two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, for sure. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So you we, to get out of here. <laughs> we, you know, we used to get up, uh, especially like more, you know, more recently. Uh, not when we were younger, but. We get up and go get breakfast at the Coney and just kind of, you know, mm -hmm. a little skillet or an omelet, some, some coffee, and kind of just chop it up. For sure. So that it just means community for me. Now, when you say just one thing, man, on Eddie V's freestyle, had me think about um, a lot of shit. You say your birthplace, your burial scenario, the worst case. We did motherfucker don't get stuck. Watch the earth shape. A what? couple weeks in Cali, niggas thought they felt an earthquake. That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> yeah. Now, when you say your birthplace, your scenario, do that, like, are you trying to say like, Niggas sometimes niggas get rich, sometimes niggas become these artists and they be stuck where they from. And sometimes that's where you wind up dying is where you where you from. Yes. And no, so that was double that was double double coins. Mm -hmm. So it's it's that that is that's part of it. Okay. It's also uh as as artists we 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 like we we love where we're from, right? Mm -hmm. And a lot of the times where we from don't support us. Mm-hmm. How we how we feel that yeah, we, we should, should be supported. Yeah, yeah, so uh, your birthplace, your burial, mm -hmm. right? 
the scenario mm. it's the worst yeah like yeah, for sure so in my mind i never like you know fuck pontiac mm. because i know i'm when i get to a place they're gonna be like oh that was my yeah. little that's little roro yeah, 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 for sure. um uh, scenario the worst case uh so it, it, with that i'm letting y'all know mm. i left and yeah. went to cali for sure right and then i didn't move to cali mm. i just went out there every couple of months i mm. found a way mm. right uh Worth it, uh, a couple of weeks in Cali. So mm-hmm. when I went to Cali and I started doing Rose Gold, mm-hmm. right? Because I went, I recorded Rose Gold out in Cali with uh, KT and my man Mark. Okay. A uh, couple of weeks in Cali, uh, niggas thought they felt the earth. Sh- uh, what I say? Hold on. Uh, <laughs> stuck with the birthplace. Uh, what's the case? Leave them motherfucking on. Stuck. Watch, watch the earth yeah. shake. Right. A couple of weeks in Cali, niggas thought they felt the earthquake. Right. Mm-hmm. So I, when I left. Mm-hmm. Shit went crazy. I, yeah. I, I tore, I, that was the first album I toured overseas on on, on my own merit. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Things like that. Um, uh, so that's why I said. So like, if you leave, like sometimes if you get up out of the, like what you're seeing every day, yeah, 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 you yeah. can you can literally make the work the For earth sure. the earth move. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Can um, be stuck in your, yeah. And that was basically saying like telling them or the, who had the listener that uh, I you know look, look at me. I did rose gold. Mm-hmm. Rose gold was crazy. And you can you can do it too, mm-hmm. um, couple uh, yeah. So a couple and then nigga, a couple weeks, Cali niggas fuck, uh, thought they felt the earthquake or whatever. Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure, for sure. So. Now, man, this was funny on on Yakistan. You said, oh, oh no, it's a shooter in the hood. And he live up the street. My yeah. granny like the news reporter keep the hood up beat. Yeah. I'll talk about the, my old man upstairs, my granddad, dog, nigga, always at the window. Yeah. Know what's going on. Like, that's classic before social media, you had your grandma. Who could tell you what the fuck everything was going on in the neighborhood? Yeah, and yeah. That, and that's a true. That's that's literally, that's a try. That's literally true. Like yeah. it was uh some 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 shit. Pontiac has been crazy lately, and mm. Pontiac is like the a part of the east side of Detroit. Yeah, like sure. it's not like like the entire city yeah. is a part of a side of of like a of of Detroit, and it's like a and it's still split into like north side, west side, mm-hmm. east side, yeah. right? Uh, Southside and not, and all of these niggas beefing, yeah, right, yeah, and like sure. li- now and like now killing each other, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it was crazy. This dude, um, I was introduced to this guy, mm. and he was like, uh, you know, like man, dog, cool, you know. Uh, he coming to the club with with one of my homies, mm. and uh, you know, I met him. I'm like, man, dog, cool as hell, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could bring him around me anytime. For sure. And then <laughs> a couple weeks later. Not not even maybe like a couple of days later, yeah. I saw that he got he got killed. Yeah. It, not, but he it, it like he was a little bit older. He just was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um so that it, like it stemmed from that mm-hmm. right. So and I kind of heard about it through my wife's grandmother. Okay. Who live in the hood still? Yeah, 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 and yeah. you go if you need to know what's yeah, going on. Gonna let she know it. <laughs> you gonna get a plate too. She gonna cook. You gonna get. You gonna drink. You gonna smoke. Yeah. And you're gonna hear what's going on. Granny right? smoke. Granny smoke. Oh yeah. For sure. <laughs> yeah. For sure. So it's like uh, my granny, like a news reporter, keep the hood up to beat. Damn. And it was crazy because it ha- like when it happened, mm. it was on Facebook. Like mm. niggas, his brains is like everywhere and they yeah. short so uh um damn the nigga managed everybody seen him up the heat yeah. but that's a sandwich for some, that's a uh a sandwich for some other niggas be yeah, you know what yeah, i'm saying yeah, yeah. okay okay i get it yeah, yeah that's dope yeah man but yeah when, you, when i heard that part i'm like yeah that's, that's how them old you know saying old grannies be yeah. and grandparents man yeah if you now, need to know go to the hood now the last one i'm gonna do is uh, off the yaki stand just because i just watched the interview and kind of had brought me back to that you guys said we laugh to keep from crying through the pain here comes the comedy and I was listening to Marlon on the Breakfast Club, and he said he just lost his mom. Mm. And people don't be understanding. Like, he talked about his mom through his comedy, cracking jokes. He yeah. said, but for me, that brings peace, and that brings some type of normal, normalness Normalcy. to me. Yeah. So me cracking D-Rick. jokes. D-Rick. Yeah, on your yeah, show. Yeah, on my show, yeah. yeah. So it's like, sometimes when people, I had my mom passed away, and we did his show the same day, like back in 2012. I didn't even have a show. He had a show. But I just wanted something to get away from that. You know what I'm saying? Thinking or whatever. So do you like really feel like, you know, when you're going through some stuff, you really do got to keep like some comedy or is this some normal life, you know what I'm saying, around just to get over that hurdle of losing somebody important? I think so. I think uh, I think that is what comedy stems from. It's from pain. For sure. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And it's, and it's for, for whatever reason, I, I don't I don't know. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I really believe it, man. So, like mm-hmm. some of the some of the funniest jokes come out of 
the craziest situations, man. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like just just thinking back in my life, but for sure. Um, but yeah, man, because the, the thing is, ultimately, like my my grand, I don't know, my grandmother, grandfather, but if somebody old back in the day used to tell me like. Oh, you think you got a problem? Just keep living. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, you think, oh, you think about sure. just keep living, man. And, yeah. and and the thing is, that's what that's what the comedy does. It, it kind of gets you to start moving, mm -hmm. right? And thinking like, yeah, that's fucked up. That such and such may have gotten murdered, or such and such may have died. This whole this this crazy death. Mm -hmm. But it's like, man, do I get do I like get stuck in that? Mm -hmm. And my mind gets stuck in that, and then I become this, yeah, you know, this this whatever. For sure. So yeah. Now yeah. you said, uh, I said it was the last thing, but you said something funny on that same song. <laughs> you said it used to jit, y'all used to hit roll. Right, yeah, so we, we used to jit, y'all niggas used to hit roll. <laughs> That's real though. That's real. Think I, about that. No, I thought about my because I used to be judging niggas that could jit, cause I couldn't jit. I used to be mad as fuck. I couldn't yeah. roll either though before you asked that. Okay, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, my boy, my boy Weez, man. Because jitting is a gangster dance. Yeah, it's, a, it's for like sure. it's a it's a it's a you know some it's yeah. some hip rolling is like come on man, leave that to the ladies. <laughs> no, I used to get mad as hell. My boy used to have his yays on, and as soon as he take you know like you say change the mood, the club. Once they get to the end of the club, I remember this Usher song used to come on from Confession. <laughs> said, hip rolled up. As soon as that nigga used to take them cards off, I'm like, ah, I know it is. He about to hand me the cards. He and go did, crazy. He used to lift up his shirt. <laughs> Oh. And you know back then For some reason We used to have hoop shorts Under our pants Of course And you see the big ass Hoop shorts coming out Parachuting And niggas be rolling I'm yeah. like dog And all the girls would be like Why that nigga Weez always doing that I'm like dog I don't know man Leave me alone That's hilarious dog <laughs> So as soon as I heard that line I immediately thought about St. Andrews in the basement when they started playing that music <laughs> yeah. and my nigga Weez be him rolling, dog. Uh, that nigga even go on the ground with it, like. <laughs> yeah, niggas used to get busy. It was these niggas back in the day called uh, the Dancing Bears. Duh. Them niggas used to go club to club, bro, and be hip rolling all through that bitch. They was getting paid to do it, though. <laughs> It's crazy. A couple like groups of niggas that was doing that shit. Man, man. Now I don't want to keep you too long, man. But I had to touch on burn, burn rubber. Um, I wish we could do the show there, man. But I didn't want to, you know, ask too much. But oh, that's all. Yeah. But no. Um, how did that start? I know I heard a previous interview when you said that you it, it was already named burn rubber. And you you and your partner bought the shit. Mm -hmm. So like, what made you like want for a want to go into that business and stuff like that? Because it's not too many black. Um, 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 business owners when it comes to the shoe game, right? You know what I'm saying. So, what made you want to, you know, saying touch on that? Was it your your love for sneakers, or you just wanted another source of, you know, income? Uh, yeah, it was it was uh it was my love for sneakers. I, I some of my oldest memories, mm -hmm. like literally thinking back to like as far back as I can think. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, some people that's that's ten years old. Some people that's three years old. Mm -hmm. And for me, I it was you know I might have been like seven ish mm. but some some of those memories have to deal with me like cutting grass for sneakers or trying to tell my get my auntie but my because my mom wouldn't buy me these try to tell my auntie yo i'll, I'll cut your grass to, or do your dishes yeah. if you buy me this for sure. you know what i'm saying so uh, I, I was working at a uh, enterprise rent a car mm -hmm. and i was like um the the nigga that if you if you rent a car and i gotta come pick you up from your crib yeah I was that nigga that was picking you up from the crib. Okay. And like washing the cars and shit mm. and putting gas in the cars. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I hated that shit, <laughs> right? So I, so it was crazy though because I was working at the one in uh, Troy. Okay. Uh, I don't know, 15 mile, 14, something like that. Well, somewhere in Troy. Okay. Uh, and I was, I was, but that, so that one had like, uh, like Jags and Benzes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I was just whipping, no, yeah, yeah. I was whipping them bitches. Yeah. And I had to pick up this guy and uh, I picked him up and you know, like some, some people just look like money or just yeah, smell sure. like yeah, money. You already know, yeah. Like yeah. Steve Harvey, I, I, I don't know if you know, I was on Family Feud. Okay. And Steve Harvey is, is the <laughs> ultimate nigga that smell like money. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll get back to that later. Um, so I picked this guy, this white guy up and so I'm like, man, I usually don't talk to people, yeah, yeah. but I'm like, man, what is what the fuck do you do? Yeah. And he was super cool because like, he could have like got me fired or some shit. Yeah, for sure. Like, but he was like, um, he and he never told me what he did. Yeah. So, but the conversation went like, um, what do you like to do? And I I was like, uh, you know, nothing really. Yeah. I, like I wasn't even playing video games. I yeah, was just kind of yeah. like, I would hoop, I would yeah. hoop, but yeah. that, I ain't going. To, I'm not going to the NBA. Yeah. 
And uh, he was like, well, your career, your, your uh, career choice, your, your ultimate career choice slash profession mm -hmm. is something that you're most passionate about, okay. something that you would do for free. Okay. And I said at the time it was girls mm -hmm. fucking <laughs> with the bitches for, for sure. sure. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> well, actually, I wasn't. I wasn't really fucking. But in, you know, in my mind, in my mind, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I, you know. Uh, uh, also, um, uh, hooping. Okay. Like working out a little bit, but I was like, I ain't going to the league. Yeah. And then it was shoes, yeah. right? So I'm like, you know, what do I open up a Foot Locker? Yeah, Yeah. So then he was like, well, whatever it is, mm. one of those three things, figure it out yeah. and find, and then uh, what you would do for free mm. and then find a way to make money doing it. Okay. For and sure. that, and he was like, and that's your answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, man, thank you, dog. Yeah. But all right, I'll see you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like, that was some bullshit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So then I get to the crib. Like it, it wasn't like the same day. It was like, whatever, a couple yeah. of days, weeks later. And I opened a slam magazine. Mm. I almost want to say it was uh, Kevin Garnett was on the front. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. But it was it was a slam magazine because I had all of them. Yeah. Hell and I yeah. opened. I'm looking through the magazine. And I see this. Um, it's it's a thing. It's it's a sneaker boutique. Mm. And it was called it's called Undefeated. Okay. And Undefeated is like in L. A. Uh, like they got stores all around the world now, yeah. and they do collabs and shit. But back then, I had no, it was just like undefeated LA yeah. and I was like damn it what, what the fuck is a sneaker boutique yeah 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 because we go to we go to the mall we yeah, go to Northland we go to Foot Locker, Locker whatever yeah. so I was like man that's what I want to do mm -hmm. and then it's a whole nother podcast of how oh, yeah, I did sure, it sure. you yeah, know what I'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. but that was like that's the answer yeah. and so I started selling shoes mm -hmm. like I, I would we would drive to uh, New York to the Bape store okay and we would I would buy Bapes Two hundred a piece, mm. and I would, and at the time they were selling for like five, four to six, depending okay. on which ones it was. Yeah. And I would come back and buy and sell them, sell the other one for that price, mm. and that was literally just to get my money back. So yeah. I got mine free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I would wear mine, beat them up, and still sell them for like two fifty, three hundred. Yeah, yeah. Damn. And I just kept doing that. Yeah. And then that be turned into Jordans, and then Jordans turned into Re uh, Iversons, yeah. and then Iversons, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then. uh you know, and then the, the rest is kind of is like yeah. the rest is it's history. history yeah. But like I said, that's a whole nother yeah. uh, podcast. Yeah, it's funny you say it though. We were just having this conversation, bro, on um, Friday, and I was like, "Man, I gotta get, I gotta start generating more income." Mm -hmm. Like me and my wife been thinking about other stuff to do. And he said that same shit. Like, dog, you gotta just first start off with the shit that you like doing. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, damn. Like, so now I've been talking to people about you know saying I love coaching, I love doing this shit. So now I'm trying to you know saying utilize the gym and start training kids and let that build up to an AAU team and you know what yeah. Saying? So far for and so it's long. literally, man, I tell people that this, this my advice to people be so lame, mm -hmm. but it's it's like because I think in every in everything it's, a, it's fundamentals, right? In yeah. basketball, yeah, you could, yeah, you know, some people can jump out the gym, some people can shoot like Steph, and some people could do these things, but mm -hmm. there's a level of baseline, uh, foundation things that are gonna make you get you to a point, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And everybody has to have that, mm -hmm. and uh, and I think it's the same thing in business. Mm -hmm. um, and so I tell people, you know, they're like, man, what should I do? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, be consistent. Yeah. They be like, man, come on, man. Yeah, I need man, more. Fuck that shit. <laughs> like, nah, man. Like, nah, bro. What, what do you do, man? What are you passionate about? Man, this. All right. Uh, what, they, what are you passionate about that you would do for free? This. All right. Find a way to make money. Make some money. Yeah. And I'm like, well, you asking me, and that's what these people told yeah, me. Yeah, so sure. that's what I'm telling you. Yeah, I went home. And I, got I didn't it, change yeah. it up nothing, bro. Yeah. I, and I haven't learned anything different. Yeah, for sure. I work hard. I, I got something, found a way to make money from it, worked mm -hmm. hard, and never looked back. Yeah, for sure. Was there a time, just take away a, a pandemic, was there a time you thought the company was going to fail? Hell yeah. Oh, like, was it? Yeah. Hell <laughs> okay. yeah. The company did fail. Oh, most yeah. of the time. <laughs> no, the company, the, the, but the, pan, the pandemic was the pandemic, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, I got you back. Those, yeah. Man, that's the reason we got a new store. Yeah, now let me ask you this. So, so you say you, you, it was plenty of times that, you know, saying you thought the company was going to fail. Was it through those times, did you ever, like, say, fuck this, I'm a, I'm done with it? Never. Okay. No. What, so so what, what keep you with music, you know what I'm saying? You say you trying to do a whole little different approach to music. To take your name out and stuff, and you only do it this way, and with the shoe game, what keep you motivated, bro? Like to stay to stay consistent with everything that you do, because you do a lot of things. Uh, you say you DJ, what keep, like the, the, what keeps me motivated? To answer that question is the ultimate goal. Yeah, for so sure. I'm not there wherever wherever I, when I sat down and I said, man, 
I want, this is what I want to do. I saw that magazine. I want to open a store. Yeah. That from that moment, mm -hmm. the goal that I made, mm -hmm. I haven't I haven't reached. Is it yet. ever an end goal? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. No, because sometimes even when you get, get to get, they get chubby and <laughs> move to Miami, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Move to a, a remote island and never talk to nobody ever again. <laughs> yes, fast, fast. for sure. Hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, man. Uh, Yes, to answer that question, uh, mm. yes, times got rough times. Mm. The reason I don't have a business partner is because the shit failed and we had to make a decision. And I showed, he he was at the point where he was like, man, I'm kind of over this shit. And I'm like, oh, for sure, I ain't done. Yeah, for sure. And yeah, it yeah. was like, but it was like, it wasn't like I was buying Little Caesars Arena. And, yeah, yeah, and yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. already in motion. It was yeah. like, no, nah, this shit is the Silverdome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's fucked up. Yeah, you know what I'm sure. saying? So, yeah, you, gotta you know, right. he kind of was... You know, he basically jumped off a sinking ship for the yeah. most part. Now, last thing I want to ask you about the shoe game, because like I said, man, we had to do a part two about all this shit. Mm -hmm. um, do, your niggas, I know they be on your head about exclusive shoes, dog. Yes, How many phone calls do you get whatever, like, them, them cool gray 11s come out and they want you to hold it? I already know it's a million. Uh, well, things have changed now. <laughs> things have changed. It was a time where uh, that is that was a thing, but I pay too many niggas to yeah. deal with that now. For sure. For like, sure. And that's so not trying to... Even, no, I'll get you. you know, get, but yeah, no, nah, yeah. I, I learned... Uh, Cause it used to, it used to, um, it used to fuck with me, bro, and it and it gave me anxiety. Yeah. Right. Because and it's like it's crazy because people don't realize or understand. There's never enough. Mm -hmm. Right. Fair. So that means. Back at a, at a time we may have gotten cool grays, yeah, uh, concords, mm -hmm. whatever. Right. Christmas time. It was yeah. the worst time of my life. Yeah. <laughs> Every year at Christmas. Yep. You can ask my wife. You can ask every all my friends around me. So it got to the point where I basically set my immediate friends down. Like, bro, listen, yeah. if you care about me, <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure, and my well being, yeah. you won't even ask me this. Yeah, and I and I'm gonna tell you why, mm -hmm. right? So, uh, and then I I've sat people down and had this conversation, and then I said, and tell me what you would do. Yeah, for right? sure. You have 24 pair, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> you have you have seven employees. Mm -hmm. Right, who you don't, who because of your independent business, you know, you're not paying them their market rate. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah exactly. Most of these people are making damn their minimum wage yep. and blah, blah, blah. So the, the perks of working at that store it's is to when those concours come they out, they got first dibs. They're going to get them. That's how my brother is snipes. <laughs> and they're not even asking for a discount. Yeah. Okay. Sure. So you got, so now you at what, 24 minus 7, for somebody to get a calculator out. Oh, shit, that's what, uh, 17. Okay, now you have 17, right? Uh, then you have three very close friends. Yep. Right? You have a wife. Yep. <laughs> that has a, a brother, a little brother, <laughs> a little sister, and a city full of little cousins. Yep. Right? As well as you having a, the other half of the city full For of sure. little cousins, right? For sure. And then, so we have 17, right? Yep. So you tell your brother yep. and your sister, and you decide, I'm not even going to get them. Yeah. Because I don't want people looking at me like, who do you think you yeah, are? Yeah, for sure. Which yeah. I'm the owner, nigga. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. I should be able yeah, to, right? For sure. So, little bro, little sis, you can't. My wife, little brother. Yeah. I mean, this nigga, a Jordan nigga. Yeah. All right, now we down to 16. Yep. Right? Uh, then, your your. Your uncle, who, ha who you haven't seen in <laughs> three years, yeah. but it's your uncle. Like yeah. it's the one that you used to live with. Yeah, for sure. At that house with seventeen <laughs> people, right? His new girlfriend, because he got divorced from your auntie. <laughs> Homies, is like, oh my god, roast fit yeah. is whatever, right? Yeah. I need them, Jake. Yeah, right. Fam, it's over for you. Yeah, yeah, for it's, sure. a, it's a yeah, wrap. Yeah. Unk, if you need them, I got you. Yeah, them niggas, nobody is, else, oh, yeah. right? So Unk want them because Unk gonna get for his man's, right? Yeah. So Unk, now we down to sixteen, right? It is this. They come out Saturday. Yep. It's Monday. Yeah. There is forty-seven people standing out in front of your store. Wait, tense. It's freezing yeah, yeah, outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 47 people now even if i told everybody no yeah. it's still i only had 24 yeah that's it right <laughs> that's it you know what i'm saying the, and i'm i'm just starting the story yeah 
I could go on, bro. Right? And there was, oh, go ahead. My bad. No, I'm saying I, I could go on, and I'm telling niggas like, bro, if I, if I, if every nigga that came up to me, <laughs> I said, yeah, I got you. By the time you got to me, yeah, bro, nigga, I'm, I'm thirty seven, I'm three hundred seventy shoes For in. Sure. And I never understood the niggas who wait in line. If you number ten, dog, go, go, get out of line, nigga. If I'm number five, I'm getting out. But of the line. thing is, you never know. Yeah. Cause there's some, cause like now back then it was different. Now and we can't go out and say, yeah, we got 24 pair. Yeah, man, y'all lying. All right, dog. What yeah, you want me to yeah, do? Yeah, for sure. Right? Yeah, let me prove it. Like, and yeah. then, but then, because then sometimes we get 47 yeah. or 48 or or sometimes we get 120. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just depends. depends but, on, yeah. And sometimes we get 11. Cause I know for a fact they probably went crazy over those patent leather ones too. They go crazy over everything. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. For pretty much. Yeah. Every Jordan, bro. Every Jordan. Every Yeezy. No what it is. So now, so it got to the point. I told my family, listen, bro. I told my friend, if you if you consider your if you consider yourself my friend, yeah. Help me. Then you me. wouldn't do this, right? Yeah, and then if you continue to do this, I'm looking at you like you're not my friend. Yeah, for sure. Or yeah. my family. So yeah. I'm not fucking with you. It get crazy when it comes right? to that stuff, man. So then at first, at first I got a I got a, 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 a I would get a burner phone yeah. and give it to my wife yeah. and my, my my mom and these people, like my people closest to me, yeah, give yeah, them yeah. that number for like two weeks. Yeah. I would cut literally cut my phone off Damn. for two weeks before until uh until that we I I'm like we don't have no more. I would, so if that was uh, you know we come out at noon and <laughs> yeah. we sell out at twelve thirty five, I turn my phone out at twelve thirty six, and so Duh. when a nigga hit me, I'll be like, bro, man, my bad. If you would have called me earlier this week, I'd have had Damn, you. Damn, that shit it get, it get crazy. And then now, days. now it's I I'll tell a nigga like, bro, no, yeah, I I pay I I pay niggas money. To deal with niggas like you, yeah, call bro. them niggas, call the store, bro. Yeah, for sure. For tell sure. your mama, tell your auntie, all that shit. Man, it get crazy, man. Yeah, I hate it. Well, like, like I said, I want to hold you, man. We get towards the end. We got this one thing called versus. I give you, uh, uh, you know, two people, two things, whatever. You tell me who will come out as the winner. Mm -hmm. All right. As an overall brand, ma ma everything they do, Master P versus E40, music, business, everything. Like a lifetime. Yep. Huh, it's crazy. I'm glad there's no shots here. I'm not like, <laughs> I gotta take a shot to get through this. Uh, I would say Master P. Okay, summertime gear versus wintertime gear. Fall. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Jordan 11s versus Jordan 6s. Jordan 6s. I hate Jordan 11s, as you can see. <laughs> Mama cooking versus wife cooking. A gun to the forehead. <laughs> I'm not saying that. Wife, my wife, my mom, my mom will understand. My wife would not understand. The uh, white ones versus Jordan ones. Well, that's kind of crazy. That's a kind of crazy. That's a crazy. It is. That's a crazy question. <laughs> what Jordan ones over like all like, or Jordan were white Jordan ones. The, the white red Jordan ones, the original ones. Oh, the OGs. Yep, and then the white Air Force ones. All white Air Force ones. This is the greatest shoe ever you made. You know what's crazy? I never owned a pair of white Air Force ones. It's crazy. You losing out. You missing out. The, only, the closest thing I got was the white with the bubble gum bottom. I still got yeah, those in the box cool. right now. Listen, bro. The the people have their shoes. Yeah. The all white Air Force one to is classic. The greatest. It's, it's it's the it. I think it's the greatest single shoe ever yeah. made. Right. Uh, the the first time you wear it, yeah, yeah, not oh, the yeah. second, third, yeah, or fourth yeah, time. Yeah, for sure. It might it might not be, but yeah. the first time you wear, it, I think I think an Air Force One, the silhouette of the shoe is the is is uh the is the perfect silhouette of a shoe. For sure. It works with uh with with long pants. Mm -hmm. It works with short pants. Mm -hmm. It works with jogging pants. It works with it do, it do. Uh, slacks, right? Damn, it do, yeah, and then do. and then the white. It, and then it's like it's sturdy. Like you ever seen like a pit bull yeah. standing there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, damn, that's a that's a fucking dog. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And then you see like a poodle. Like, oh, that's yeah. cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, uh, a Air Force One, white white Air Force One, is like a, a, a fucking pit bull, yeah, bro. And sure. they just sit there, and it's just like, man, it looks good every yeah. time. I'm copying me some white ones this summer. Please, man. bro. Copy me some. Yeah. You can get them at Burn Rover or 218. Yeah, I'm gonna come up there, dog. Yeah, yeah. 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 And don't please don't call me. Just go get them. <laughs> 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 now, uh, uh, Kobe versus Bron. Kobe. All right, pay versus Vezo. Pay, uh, pay roll. Yep. Uh, just as what? Sorry, just music. We got the better catalog. No, 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 no. no it's uh, not better. Neither is better. Yeah. My who do I prefer? Who do you prefer? Yeah, we can switch it. Who pay. You prefer? All right, boys in the hood versus menace. Belly. <laughs> He hate Belly. Oh, you hate Belly? Belly's the greatest movie ever made, bro. Uh, he's like I said, boys in the hood versus menace to society. Yep. Boys in the hood. 
Okay. Jamie Foxx show versus Wayne Brothers. <laughs> yeah, because everybody say Martin and Fresh Prince, though. Yeah, Jamie Foxx versus Jamie F- Foxx show versus mm-hmm. the Wayne Brothers show. Wayne's Brothers. God, this nigga, he, he, he swear we're down Wayne Brothers trash. And bro. I don't, and I do too. What? Oh, I do too. Shit. I don't think it's trash, but it was corny as hell. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jamie Foxx, though, I think. Like right, I'm, and I'm just thinking about. I think I, I watched both of them at the time, mm-hmm. but right now, if if Jamie Foxx show is on my screen, I'm turning it. If yeah. the Wayans brothers are on, I'm watching it. Okay, all right. So that's how I came to that. All right, um, Chris Rock versus Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle, the greatest of, of all time. Now, when it comes to sports, Michigan State or Michigan? Michigan. Yeah, all right, you a good person, dog. Yeah, yeah, Michigan. Now, yeah, I always say Michigan State fans like the white ones are racist. Yeah, it might be. It just seems like, sure. like it feels it's like it. like white fans of Michigan, like they hip, they down to earth, and just like you know, what I'm saying they with us. No, I've always been a Michigan guy. Yeah, for always, sure. yeah, always yeah. been Michigan. Like even when, I, as far back as I can remember, right. it was, and and nobody influenced me. Yeah. I, for some reason, is my, my teams have always been University of Michigan and Georgia Tech, and yeah. I don't even know why Georgia yeah. Tech. See, mine was uh, Michigan and Georgetown, just because I I always wanted to play for uh, what's his name? Uh, Thompson. T- yep. Yeah, that's oh, real. I want to hoop him. Then I saw Iverson with the. I'm like, oh, that nigga looks sweet. Oh, Iverson was the coolest yeah. nigga ever. All right, yeah. now, now the last thing, top three. Give me your top three childhood crushes. Like celebrity, celebrity, celebrity. Yeah, not Keisha down the street. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say <laughs> my uh, my wife one two and three. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> childhood. Crushes. Yep, top three. Uh, uh, Nia Long. Yep, fast. For top. sure, Nia Long. Hell yeah. Um, uh, also, a girl from um, Family Matters. Oh, um, uh, Laura. Laura. I forgot. I don't know her real name. I don't know her real name. Yeah. I loved her. Yeah. Laura from Family Matters. And then uh, Thelma. Oh, yeah. Thelma. Good that. times. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Thelma yeah. was <laughs> a brick house, man. <laughs> Top three child. I mean, top uh, top three moments in life. Damn. Yeah, I know it's a little deep. <laughs> top three moments in life. Uh, I'll say I'll say my uh, when my I say when my <laughs> I'll say when my first daughter was born. Yeah. Because it it. It just changed everything. Yeah, it was just like something that was unbelievable happening. Mm-hmm. And and I, and I would say my children, but the second one was like, oh, this happened before. Yeah, it was, it was still like, special yeah. and amazing, but yeah, the yeah, first yeah. one was like, man, dog, this shit is yeah. like I'm. It's a I made a human. Yeah, for sure. like, yeah. I made a person, dog. It's crazy. Yeah. Um. So that I'll say, uh, I'll say, um. Cause I, you know, I, the day I got married, yeah, yeah, for guys, sure, that, I get yeah. for sure. I don't want to get a skillet upside my head. <laughs> Cast her <away>. and uh, <laughs> and then it's, some, uh, it's something I can't speak on. Okay, I could come back later this year and speak okay. on it. Okay, and then you would be like, "Oh, this is crazy." Actually, yeah. I'll tell y'all off when, right, when, the, when the mics is off. Bad, bad, bad. But bad. when I got that call, okay, uh, last year, twenty twenty one. I got the call for something that's about to happen that y'all, oh. everybody about to see in, in like August ish. All right, dope. Uh, dope. That was the single most like Jesus Christ. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. God is real. Damn, that's what, that's what I can't wait till I get that phone call, man. It's gonna happen. Mm. Like, it's gonna happen soon, man. Yeah, for sure. It's gonna happen soon. All right. All right, g- give me your top three hoopers, man. Uh, of all time. Today. Today. Uh, I'm not a basketball fan. Okay. I'm yeah. not. A, I'm not gonna say not a basketball fan. I'm not. So. As, my, as we're getting older, mm. uh, I realized I stopped playing basketball. And I stopped, well, first stopped watching basketball because it was taking too much of my time up. And mm. I'm like, I have other things that I have to, I got to make some money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just stopped. And I and then I, and then then I also had like a family. Yeah. So I'm like, if I got to cut something out, yeah. it's that. For sure. That's hard cut out too, man. It's a hard cut out. <laughs> then as I got older... I was still hooping, and all of my friends start blowing out their Achilles. Okay. So now don't hoop. I like I won't even if a, <laughs> if a basketball roll over to me, dog. I'm not even gonna kick it away. I'm just gonna try to move out the way, and hopefully not blow out my Achilles. <laughs> so I don't fuck with basketball at all. But what now? I do enjoy John ja Morant. Okay, yeah, it's my son' favorite player. I think he's crazy. Yeah. I think he's crazy dope. Yeah. I think. Uh, uh, what's the other nigga name? Um, Steph Curry. Yeah, yeah, is yeah. ridiculous. 
yeah, when I realized a couple years ago that a couple years ago he was the greatest shooter ever to ever live. Yeah, for sure. It's yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. And the fact that this nigga is not stopped. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> shooting not, he not stopped shooting and not yeah. stopped making it. Yeah. And then uh it's a nigga it's a nigga from uh a nigga from um uh, Minnesota that be dunking on niggas. Oh yeah, it's crazy. Like Anthony Edwards. Yeah, and he yeah. looked like he like he yeah, 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 yeah. like he live around the corner. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's Anthony Edwards. That man. That nigga nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so the... them the only people that like when I'm be scrolling up Instagram yeah, and, and they and I, I see them, I stop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, I'll, you, I'll you cut that. away from the who game completely. Completely, bro. Damn, that's like a... I tell I tell the story. <laughs> that nigga say, Who's that I can nigga? tell you I can tell you six people six people from the I'm 43 from the time I was like 38. To uh, maybe before the pandemic, because mm -hmm. it, it ain't really been nobody since then mm -hmm. that blew that blew their Achilles out, yeah. and it was all from pickup basketball. Damn, see now I'm I'm I was talking about getting back in shape and trying who now I'm, no, I'm scared now. Listen, I'm t I tell niggas <laughs> my boy, my boy, you know you always got that boy that like man I told y'all niggas y'all niggas to be chill yeah, out for right. Sure. <laughs> that nigga did some research and he was like, uh, he he said the uh, Achilles injuries happen mostly in black men. From the age of thirty eight to forty five, yeah. and the and the sport that or the the reason it comes from is pickup basketball. Yeah, yeah my nigga. Wine. And I said, <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm like, that's yeah, all you gotta that's, tell me. And after that, probably three <laughs> niggas blew their shit. He's like, you know how you you know how you go to a, like a park, right? You go to a picnic with your yeah, family or whatever, yeah. and it's like all the little cousins and shit there, and it's a hoop court. Yeah. And and a, and a, a, the ball rolls over to you. Yeah. What you gonna do? Shoot that. You gonna shoot that yeah, bitch. Sure. Man, I'm gonna look at that bitch. <laughs> and, and go right back to my my uh hey, barbecue, my I barbecue dog. whatever. Yeah, dog. Fuck it, I ain't, I'm I'm not kicking it back over to you. Man. I'm not picking it up and dribbling it. Yeah. None of that shit. <laughs> I'm Showing done, you no bro. Nigga, you know, I'm done. I run and box. Yeah. And, and like you know, personal. I got a personal yeah. trainer. So run. And and I run because I want a box. Yeah, yeah that's it for sure, man. Now, uh, like I told you um, before we start, man, we end everything off with a jump moment or a hot moment, man. A oh, or, yeah, or. Be, okay, so I don't got to do both. Nope, nope. Or I'll do give one. you a high moment. All right, the high moment is when I stop. I stop smoking weed. This yeah. is kind of this is a crazy story. <laughs> I I stopped smoking weed in college, mm -hmm. right? And now I kind of like. Uh, you know, if you got a joint, I'm and I'm I'm, I'm I might hit it, yeah, yeah, but exactly. for the most part, I'm scared of weed. So, <laughs> um, so I'm, I, but I was a heavy weed smoker in uh in, in college. So I had these, I had my roommates, my niggas. I'm still cool with to this day, mm. and uh, I hadn't seen Kings of Comedy yet. Okay, right. I yeah. didn't see it at the movie theater. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then it came out on tape, mm -hmm. right, or DVD or some shit. Yeah. And my man's like, yo. Man, I got, first of all, I could do a whole show on high stories. Because yeah, sure. I almost kind of don't want to do this. Actually, I got another high story. Yeah. Okay. I'm at, I work at Puffer Reds okay. in Ipsy. I'm at Eastern. Yeah. And uh, my niggas, who I'm same niggas I'm living with, yeah. I say, uh, I say, listen, bro, we, uh, at Puffer Reds, it was a midnight madness sale. Okay. And it was like Christmas or something like that. That, that If you were an employee, mm. you had to work there from like 9 a.m. to like 2 o'clock in the morning. Okay. All day, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, bro, listen. What I need from y'all niggas, I need. If you, you, they was going to a party or something, so I was like, I, I'm gonna get home. I need a, I need a joint. Roll in the ashtray. Mm -hmm. So when I get home, mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw on some hoop shorts yeah. and I'm gonna lay down. Yeah. I'm gonna smoke my joint and I'm gonna watch TV. Yeah, for sure. So everything was perfect, bro. I get home from work, nigga, tired, like damn, what the <laughs> fuck, man. It's, you know, I come home, nigga, jump in the shower. I, I go, uh, I go throw on some hoop shorts or whatever. Yeah. Lay, sit down on the couch. Spark this L, right? Yeah. It was, a, I think it was, a, it was, a, it must have, been, it probably was a blunt back then. Okay. Hit the blunt a couple times. <sighs> and I turn on the TV. <laughs> Boom. I was like, uh, I'm looking, you know, you're going through the TV and shit. Yeah. <laughs> and it was, uh, and I look and I say, I was like, oh, the bone collector. Yeah. I was like, uh, Something in me tells Denzel. Somebody yeah. told me to watch that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so I'm sitting there watching The Bone Collector, man, and I'm watching Angelina Jolie. Yeah. <laughs> Try to find this killer, dog. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Nigga, she went down into that subway system. Yeah. You never seen that shit? No, I've never seen that shit. you never seen that shit? I've never seen Bone Collector. So it was a serial killer, right, yeah. that was killing niggas. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you, you dead. Yeah. Okay? But they had to find the serial killer. So, so this nigga Denzel is a 
quadriplegic. You yeah. seen that shit? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So Denzel was a quadriplegic, right? Mm -hmm. With, to, to the point where he's sitting in the joint and he like, yank, yank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that water bottle has DNA. Yeah. Check that water. Like, he's doing <laughs> yeah. that shit, right? <laughs> Moving around, but he the coldest nigga, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But he just can't do nothing, right? Yeah. So he like, yo, okay. She just started that, like, a detective or whatever the fuck she was, right? Mm -hmm. He said, listen, it's we just got a call. And in the New York City subway, mm. right? Not like the subway. I'm talking about when you go down on a track, nigga, and go back that way, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. We need you to go back down there to this <laughs> old subway. I don't even think it was working at the time. Yeah. It was out of service sub yeah, subway. Yeah. But it's a dead body down there, yeah. right? But because of... <laughs> At, like to to get the evidence, mm. you the only one that could go. Yeah, nigga, I said, man, I'm sitting there like shaking, like, <laughs> oh shit, right? Is is she gonna house there? I don't even know if she had a light. If she had a light, like a little light, like that light right here is brighter than, than what she had, yeah. right? So I'm like, I'm saying, like, man, this bitch cold, dog. It's no way I'm going down there. It's no. rats, yeah, rats. Yeah. Chick, 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 right? She finally, I think she bumped into the dead body. Yeah. Like, she didn't even see that bitch, I yeah. think. Duh. Bumped into the dead body and had to, like, get evidence over that bitch. Duh. I said, man, listen, bro, that nigga would have killed everybody Duh. in New York Hell City yeah, if that bro. was up man, to me. There is no way I'm Duh. going down there. You said you been shaking. I'm in mean, that bitch shaking, dog. And, and, then, and the crazy thing about it, we had just got like surround sit oh, so like shit. i'm hearing the shit yeah. behind me i'm turning turn around thinking like man these niggas are here fucking with me dog Duh. i'm hearing shit over in this corner Duh. shit over here dog i'm watching it like man man funny i could hell. not believe that shit dog god damn that's, that's, funny that's one of my that's one of my stories yeah good goddamn story god damn yeah scared that we will get i don't smoke but a couple times i did that shit i wish i'm trying to get back to smoking paranoid man. dog shit, I, yo, it I fucks with crazy. me too yeah i go crazy, i'm trying man. my best man because because the thing is when I was younger I used to smoke a lot when I was younger and then shit like that started happening and then it my yeah, mind so started that. going crazy yeah, right yeah, yeah. and not but now uh drinking I used to bounce back from drinking yeah like I, I would drink wake up the next morning and go who be good yeah, Do yeah, some yeah. Nah. now drinking hurts yeah, <laughs> yeah for sure that shit yeah, hurt bro yeah, I could yeah. take like a like you I used to take I used to drink five six drinks nigga wake up and do whatever yeah be smooth go work out now I take I'll have one drink and wake up in the morning like god damn yeah, what did I do yeah. last night Duh. so but but now weed I feel better I feel better when I wake up from weed. Yeah. I feel terrible in the moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. And with with, and with, with alcohol is the complete opposite. Yeah, I yeah. feel great in the moment. Yeah, but, but then terrible in the morning. Hurt, dog. So now I want to get back. I just I'm trying to get my mind back to like not being paranoid yeah, off the weed sure. and yeah. trying to find the right kind of weed yeah. to smoke. So right. now I just I and then another thing I used to I used to get really hot. Like mm. I used to get like. To me, it's like if you what you drinking for if you ain't trying to get drunk. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. What you smoking for you ain't trying to get. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. then niggas like, man, no, nah, bro, just get a joint, hit that yeah. shit one time and chill. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But no, nah, I'm like, I gotta smoke the whole joint if it's there. <laughs> yeah, I gotta finish that off. Gotta right? finish that bitch off. So man. I'm trying to find a happy medium. Man, like I said, man, I appreciate you coming on this month, man. Anytime, bro. It was a pleasure talking to you, man. You got anything you want to leave people off with? Some motivation words? Some some don't give up, continue your dreams type shit. <laughs> nah. <laughs> If you didn't get out there every day, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we can't find you on your socials, man, and, and get in contact with you and uh, all that good stuff. Ro, uh, ro underscore spit mm -hmm. on uh, Instagram. Yeah. Uh, burn rubber sneakers, I believe, on mm -hmm. Instagram, and then shop two eighteen t w o one eight. Yep. And uh, or just, you know, go to Google and Google ro spit or burn rubber Detroit, sure. and it, uh, you'll find me. For sure, for sure. Yeah, he be back to that good story. He uh, got that phone call from last last year, John. Oh, you know man. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I ain't got nothing yeah. to leave y'all off with then too. That shit, fuck you. Y'all <laughs> uh, yeah, can say, man, shout out to everybody, Voice of Detroit, Podcast MVP, man, Rose Spit, episode 117, man. Peace out. Oh, spit. Yeah.